What's up, what's up, guys? I don't know what the hell happened, but I got kicked off the live, but I came back. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We got an interesting night tonight. I'm back on live, guys. For some reason, I got kicked out. I just got booted out of live, so I had to hop back on. Uh, this is the second time, and I don't know what happened with the live, but I was talking and it just went away. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm back now, though. So let's keep this thing rocking. Let's pick up what we left off at, man. We got going to get this thing filled up. We got four, five people up in here. Go ahead on and send messages out right now. Tell your friends to come on to the live right now. Mr. Relentless, what's happening, shouting? What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? With the temperature light in the ATL. Hey, look, go ahead and send send um, send your send your notifications out. Send the word out, man. We finna go on and have this little chat right quick. Like, man, we doing a unicorn giveaway. We doing a unicorn giveaway. We are gonna talk about that a little later right now. We're gonna discuss Bani or La Romana. Where y'all want me to go next out of those two places? Bani and La Romana. We'll get to that in just a minute, but let's let people get on up in here right quick. Like, okay. I gotta switch to the phone Wi Fi because they tripping with this damn house Wi Fi shit. I don't know what the fuck going on, man. Do this like this. So, yeah, guys, come on, let's, 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 let's chop it up right quick. Like, all right, right now, I'm in Santo Domingo kicking shit. All right, right now, um, it's a pretty big crowd outside having a good time. Um, I'm sitting on the front porch on live with you guys and drinking a Coca Cola. Yes, I'm in the capital. I want to know are you guys ready for tomorrow's interview with the unicorn? And, and we're going to get deeper into that topic in just a minute. Well, I'm going to break some stuff down to you guys, man. Uh, Trey Day, what's happening, man? Glad to have you on. Glad to have you on, brother. Uh, we, 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 about to, we about to get off into some things, man. Let me get some more lights right quick. Like, let me get some lights. Let me have some lights, please. Got nine people in here, one light. Get some likes. Damn, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes and shit out here. And I got on mosquitoes. So I'm saying these mosquitoes are crazy. I done sprayed mosquito spray on and still getting bit by mosquitoes. My thing, man. I would say La Romana. So we got two for La Romana. Okay, two for La Romana. You know what I'm saying? La Romana. So guys, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do a tally in just a minute where it's gonna be Bani. A La Romana. Bani or La Romana. So, you know, uh, okay, there's still two for La Romana because you still responded. And you responded the first time, so that's good. La Romana is beautiful. La Romana is beautiful. But I'm not going to lead no one right now. Too many mangoes and Bani. Yeah, but you know how we do around here. We find unicorns in Sassua. You know, we find unicorns in Sassua, virgins and all that good shit. You see what I'm saying? We find unicorns in Sassua. We done found unicorns in Sassua. We done found fucking virgins in Sassua. So if we go to Bani and 
and Bani has multiple, multiple, um, they have a lot of mangoes in Bani. Don't worry, don't worry, don't let that discourage you, brother. This is the fucking Alpha Male Agenda Show. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be all right. Man, I wanna give a bit warm welcome to my personal motherfucking brother, Bit Brother. Goddamn, Greg Flip Flop is in the fucking comments right now. And um, and I'm sure he has something to say about which one, Bonnie, or uh, either uh, La Romana. Uh, La Romana. I'll be saying it wrong. This is a tongue twisting thing. But, uh, but um, yeah, Big Bro is definitely in the building. I want to give a big up, big shout out to my personal. This ain't no, this is personal. You know, uh, my personal big homie, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight out of New York City. Y'all know who the hell he is, goddamn. Y'all know who he is. You know, um, one of my inspirations. Uh, one of my favorite, like the most, like one of the most, one of my top favorite YouTubers that inspired me to get out of my shell and just start expressing myself. And y'all know I'm, I'm bad with speaking. You can tell the way I talk, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm bad with all this shit, so I had to come out of a nut shit. I had to come out of a shell to do what I'm doing now. You understand what I'm saying? But big ups to Greg, man, flip flop, man. Hey, uh, matter of fact, Greg, that, now that you on here, I wish I, I can't wait till the rest of you guys get on here. They trying to throw some for my birthday at the restaurant March 2nd. Uh, we supposed to have a cake, uh, and I meant to call you and hit you up about it, but I've been running around, and you know how I do. And, and, and you, know, I, you, know, you know how I do, I, you know. Every time you see me, you tell me, God damn, you still moving around. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I've been meaning to hit you up and, um, and um, let you know uh, what the plans was as far as my birthday, March March uh, 2nd. So, and it's also another gentleman's birthday as well. At the same time, it's my birthday. So we supposed to be, uh, I think he'll get in, he'll get, he'll land March 1st. So I'll be making my way up there probably more. You know, I'll be running late. I'm on nigga time, black man time, and Dominican time. Five, give me a minute, guys. I'm sorry about that. Hold on. Let me get my uh, hot spot on. Yeah, somebody just asked me a question. He said, uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Uh, what the boy? What the guy? What... From the A. Yeah, I'm seven four from the A. Originally two seven four, but yeah, seven four from the A. Um, KL, what it do? What up, Deluxe? What's happening? I got the boy, I got the guys in here right now from the Lions Danger check in. The boy Deluxe, man, we would just spin game. We would just really put some game down the Lions Den, man. I had to come on over here to this live right quick, like. And, and we can go ahead and prepare for this um, prepare for this mango giveaway tomorrow. I mean, not mango. I'm fucking sorry. Uh, 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 unicorn giveaway. All right. But right now, we got 12 guys in here, man. Let's get a few more likes if y'all don't mind, man. Just a couple more likes. Let's say 12 people in here, 13 people in here. We can get like eight likes, man. That'll, that'll be fine, man. We can go ahead and start with La Romana or Bani for, uh, for the next trip. La Romana or Bani. And uh, let's, 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 I'm gonna let y'all decide on where I go next. And you know when I go down, I'm getting in the trenches. I'm gonna be with the girls. I don't care which one we choose. It's gonna be some some uh, uh, family oriented. It's gonna be, I'm gonna show you the real raw Dominican way. I'm gonna, we gonna get in the trenches. You see what I'm saying? Uh, now nah, I won't be getting naked, taking baths in fucking rivers no more. I just had to do it then. Unless I have to now. If I'm in some compost shit and I gotta take a, a bath in the river, I will. But the mosquitoes ate my ass up. That's the only thing I don't like about the Dominican Republic. It's these damn mosquitoes are extremely aggressive. Like, I really got a problem with that. Uh, so yeah, we got enough lights now, guys. What do you guys think y'all wanna see next? Especially you guys who may not have traveled here yet who may see this live a little later on as the algorithms go and, and you end up catching this video uh if you can leave a message in the comments if you're not on this live because i'm gonna be taking votes all right 
So I'm going to go by the most votes. If Bani wins, I'm going to Bani. Um, and I'm not going to say which one I would rather go to first. And then I'm going to go to both of them. But I'm just saying which one should be first. We're going to both. We're going to both. I have to. I have no other choice but to go to both. But I just need to know which one needs to be first. And um, yeah, we got three for La Romana. Three for La Romana on the live video. If you catch this video later and you leave a uh, if you leave a uh, comment in the comment column, please cast your votes or what you say by me or either La Romana. And also guys, Bani, so uh, Trey Day say, uh, is Bani tough in the DR? I'm going to say Bani is one of the places on my top five list with the most beautiful women in the Dominican Republic is set. That's what I say. I've been to La Romana and I've been to Bani. Um, but I don't want to say anything like I just did to lead, to lead the fucking uh, votes. But I'm going to tell you like this here. I really want to go to Bani first and then La Romana second. But I'm going to let you guys decide because you guys are the ones who donate, support, and make this shit happen. So you guys tell me what the fuck to do and we're going to do it. Because I'm going to go to both of them regardless. Also, um, La Romana also has some beautiful ass sisters. But it's not my top five. You see what I'm saying? But they there are some and we and we will see it when we get there. Cause I'm gonna be all out in the open with this motherfucking camera. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna have probably somebody recording and I'm gonna be doing some real cold approaches. Probably gonna see me get cussed out and shit. You know, you probably gonna cause these places like La Romana and Bani, they're not places that's too keen on tourism. So, you know, the places where I'm gonna be at, like Deep down in the in the barrios with the locals, they're not gonna. It's not too often that flip flop. Greg can probably vouch for that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, because he the one who first opened my eyes to Bonnie. You know what I mean, Bonnie? You know, so he could vouch for. He could possibly vouch for. It's not a place. I'm sure when he was there, he was probably like one of the only fucking foreigners there. That's what I'm trying to say. And especially being a black man, you know what I mean. Um, in the areas he was in, you understand what I'm saying? So it's not like Sassua where you just got to a Puerto Plata where you, you don't, it's nothing about that. Uh, Mr. Relentless say beautiful women in St. Tiago. St. Tiago is my top five. My top five, St. Tiago is one of them. Uh, again, my top five, my top five, St. Tiago, Puerto Plata, Bani, um, Santo Domingo, uh, Nagua, um, those are my top five with Bonau tied in there with somebody, you know. Um, but I might just have to do a top seven because um, Viragua also is tough. They made me unbelievable this past weekend, goddamn. I ain't gonna lie, them motherfuckers broke me down and that motherfucker, man. They made me a, a believer. Sorry I ain't had a camera on, guys. My phone was fucking dead. I really wanted to have it on. So we say, uh, uh, JJ Soraya say, uh, it's beautiful women in uh, Soma. That's how you say the J or H city. Don't get it twisted. It's beautiful women all around here. It's just some places you got to dig a little harder to find them. And, and also, when I look for beautiful women, you got to understand when I say beautiful women, that's why we, you know, when I say beautiful women, I'm talking about overall characteristics and attributes and, you know, culturally traditional values that carry and stuff, you know. So I'm not just looking at the physical presence because if I look at just the physical presence, guess who's going to be number one with the baddest females in, in the fucking Republic of Dominicana? It's going to be Sassoura, hands down. If I just look at presence, physical presence, it's going to be Sassoura with the baddest women around this motherfucker. Then it's gonna be Boca Chica. Hands down, I mean, we can argue about that shit another time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that's facts. But I don't go off that when I say beautiful. I don't I don't go off that, man. Uh, TMI St. Tiago with the wrench is in. Hey man, I need my wrench guys in tomorrow, man. We finna get on this subject in a minute, so if you got a wrench, 
stay on the line right quick, like, please. Uh, TMI got a wrench. I think um, uh, Life of CB got a wrench and, um, and um, Ken got a wrench. Because you guys may be needed tomorrow because you know how guys get when there's a woman and it, it, you know, it may be too many, too many aggression, too much aggression going on. We gotta put some rules, foundation. We gotta lay this shit down the right way. We can't be embarrassing ourselves, looking stupid. We gonna have this girl on live. You know, it's her first time gonna be in on some shit like this. I'm, I admire her courage. I admire her for reaching out, saying she wanna get down on the live, and uh, she actually wanna talk. So she's actually marketing her. Well, I'm marketing her. She's not, I ain't gonna say she's marketing herself like she's thirsty. Uh, she just putting herself out there like that. But she is kind of putting herself out there like that because she reached out and said she wanted to meet a good man. And she thought that my channel would be good for that because of what happened the last time, you know. So I took I took the offer. So I, I really hold you guys in high regards. I hold her in high regards. And y'all need to hold me in high regards. So we're going to do this shit together. You understand what I'm saying? So this going be this going to be like one of the first times I've seen this in this circle of traveling men. Um... Um, 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 you know, uh, doing the actual hookup. All right, Till. All right. All right, this is going to be the actual first time I, I, I've seen this. So, um, so let's try to make this something that can continue to go because my plan is to continue to have women, maybe two or three, maybe two a week, maybe. You know, right now it's looking like, uh, the way the momentum is going, looking like one a week because I got one lined up coming up next. She's kind of iffy about the, 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 the camera, but not, she's not afraid of being on the camera. Like she would rather just do a recorded video versus being on live, you understand what I'm saying? So, but I want to be on live because eventually I want to get to bringing guys on the camera to actually talk, where I ain't got to be the middleman, you kind of talk a little bit. And that way it kind of keep my hands clean because when she make her decision, she make her decision. You know, but if I'm recommending motherfuckers, man, and if I'm, so tomorrow's going to be like a me recommending, let me out all you guys that's going to be probably hollering at her. She's beautiful. If, if you want to see a better picture of a photo of her, you'll see it tomorrow. But if you go on my, I just made a post, a picture post, uh, promoting the live for tomorrow. And that's her full body, her natural hair. You know, she's standing up and all that right there. No fake body, no none of that. Very sweet spirited person. Um, uh, she's in her home most 90% of the time. She um, She's uh, 21 years old. Uh, holds down the house, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, no visible tattoos, you know. I did the whole, I did the whole fucking sanitize, sanit, sanit, sanitizing on her ass. I've sanitized it. I did the whole. I had to make her come clean. I had to make her come clean, you know. And I put my girls on. Her. I put like three of my girls on them, and they unicorns. I put them on. I put them on. Her, I put my girls. On, you see what I'm saying? So, and, and and they're still, they're still. As I'm looking at one of them now, she's still going through back and forth with her now, you know? So I let the girls talk. Um, and so I wanna make this a once a week type of thing, you know? Uh, maybe it's twice, two girls a week maybe. And I would like to have a great success rate with this, you know, because we can probably start something, you know, something major. We are marketing on Instagram, marketing on Facebook. I market on Facebook, I market on Instagram. So a lot of guys in the States that really want good women, I am here actually digging them up for you. I'm here all the time. I have an eye for this shit. I see this shit. I'm all the way around the fucking country. I'm always everywhere. I'm always in the, in, the, in the barrios. I'm in the trenches. I'm in the fucking compost, the field, on the farm. I see them. I meet them, you know, and, and, and you know, and I make the approach. And if I see a good one, I see a beautiful one, I see one that's really a diamond in the rough, I, I went mine, even off camera, just go ahead and get her and, and talk to her and see if we can put her on camera and see if we can hand her out to one of you guys out there because there's a lot of men in America, there's a lot of men in Canada, there's a lot of men across the globe that actually want a good woman, that want a good Dominican woman. So we're so afraid of the Dominican Republic. We, we, we It's like, we, it's like we, we, we love these women out here, we like these girls out here, they're beautiful, they're exotic, they have all the domesticated skills, the characteristics, attributes, they're traditionally inclined, they still have culture, they have all these things that we like, they're very spicy, they're very sexual, they're very seductive, they have all these things we like that drive us out here to leave wives at home, children, to leave exes, to leave America, to leave your comfort zone, to save up your check, to, to do all this shit, to come out here to spend a few days or probably a weekend. 
spent, spent a few days or probably a weekend out here, but we so afraid to actually trust them and build with them and invest in them because, you know, my channel, this channel right here is based on first highlighting and identifying the issue. Knowing the issue, seeing the issue, peeping the issue, putting it under the microscope, and understanding the issue. Chapadoras and the mangoes. Understanding what's going on. Understanding the culture. Understanding the flawless, the flaw shit that go on. You know what I'm saying? Once you understand and see that, then you start looking, the next half of this channel is to highlight, to bring forth the beauty to bring forth the good girls, to bring forth what I consider to be a unicorn. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is this here, that's what we at this point now. Remember, I told you guys, I've kept my word with you guys since I started the channel. Since I started talking in the DR, I kept my word. I brought the hoes to the front. I brought the prostitutes. I brought the mangoes. I brought the fucking chapadoras. We highlighted it. We got part one, part two, part three, part four. I did all of that. We did the live interviews. Until I saw you guys getting tired of that shit, and I said, hold on, let's get these subscribers up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start bringing the unicorns and presenting unicorns, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So I'm keeping my word for what I'm doing, and what's going to come next after this, or simultaneously with this, I'm going to start giving game on strategic maneuvers and how to even get mangoes without paying. It's guaranteed to work every fucking time. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to work on every single mango, but it's guaranteed to work every time you put your game out there and you really put your mind into it, it's gonna work. So this is how you're gonna have the baddest of the baddest of the Sassoul mangoes and these mangoes and pour the put these mangoes all over for free. You don't have to pay for anything. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to pay a dime for any of these mangoes. And this game is guaranteed to work. And I'm going to share it with y'all. I'm going to share text messages. I'm going to share all, all the things that I have for proof to show you. Just like I do inside the Lions Den, they'll tell you this is the type of shit that we do. You see what I'm saying? This is the type of shit we do in the Lions Den. We share the game. I show the game. They show the game. Right now, the Lions Den is so far, the, so far ahead. They teaching me shit now. You know, because it, it, they, they they revealing shit to me. They was already some strong ass brothers anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So this is stuff that that's gonna work. So right now I'm keeping my word. I'm bringing forth the unicorns for you guys to be able to have these girls. And you can marry. I'm putting my staff on it. You can, if everything work out, these are good girls. You can fucking marry, make a wife. You don't have to be afraid to take her to the states and she come back. You ain't gotta do none of that shit. It's no trickery. Trust me. I got this shit. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm doing. My unicorns three years and. Uh, two years, one year, three years, two years, one years, and ain't none, none of that. Strong. Strong. You see what I'm saying? No, none, nothing. You know what I'm saying? They always with me. That's one there. You know, always, always near. You know what I'm saying? And, and then this two of these years, no, two years and six months of this time, me carry a mosquito spray for me. Damn, the mosquitoes biting the hell out of my feet. Man, I had to send her in there to go get the mosquito spray. But yeah, guys, this is what, what's going on. So I need my guys for the wrench. And what I'm going to do, man, if you guys donate and support the channel, man, because it takes fucking hard work to go out here and do the shit that I'm doing. Fuck all that shit. I ain't, I'm letting you know. To go out here and find these fucking get them to come online, to convince them to come online and talk to y'all ashy motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ashy goddamn hard lead motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I gotta convince them to come online and talk to y'all ashy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Some of them be so fine, I could keep them myself, but I'd be like, hell no, nah, let me help the next brother out because I can't have them all. You know, maybe she went for me. Let me help somebody else out. So y'all gotta start donating goddamn to this channel, man, because sooner or later I'm gonna start goddamn taxing for phone numbers and shit. And these is real girls, so I can do this shit because you know how hard and difficult it is for you to fly out here when you fly out here. When you come out here, when you come, you meet your girls on Tinder and shit, and you come on out here and you're risking that shit, and you come out here and you don't have enough time to pull the real Jews out of the land, the gems out of the cave like I'm doing, and present them to you. So goddamn, man, we're gonna start doing some donations and shit. And then, um, even with the La Rom, uh, La Rom, um, La Romana, I be fucking that shit up. La Romana and Bani, man.
¿Qué pasó? No sé. <risa> Yo no sé. Tú sabes. ¿Y yo no? Sí. No. Coño. 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 ¿Qué pasó? Tú no, tú, por favor. No sé. Ay, chico. No sé. Okay, yeah, man. You know, I get my Dominican kind of on my bed. You know, with all the. Mm, mm, mm. You know how they do. Okay, pop on yo. What the fuck? The light. The el luz no bueno. Navidad. El luz no bueno, baby. Pasa no problem. Um, estoy trabajo el luz mañana. Está bien. Mañana. My bad guys. Ah, Spanish getting good. I told you I just don't talk it all the goddamn time. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? God damn. I can't get my feet. They. Solo. Baby. Oh my bad. My bad. All right, guys, my bad. They, they couldn't get my feet no more. They started biting my neck and shit. But anyway, but yeah, guys, yeah. So even with La Romana and Bani, man, we're going to take some donations and support. Goddamn, and um, we're going to get on out there and uh, get in them trenches so that way when I go live, like I've been doing, we can get out here and do what we need to do. Moderators, also, it's the support of the channel and donation to the channel. I can give my moderators something for working. I can give them something. I can shoot them a cash out. It makes it easier. It makes it more fun for the channel when you actually see something growing and prospering. You know what I mean? This shit is for you guys, not for fucking me. All right? So, and that's what the little donations is for. You know, going to the places y'all want and all that shit there. That way, anybody, that's way moderators, you know, sit here slam motherfuckers and trying to protect the channel and protect the image and protect everything, man. You know, we can give them something because they have to stop what they're doing. And like tomorrow, I'm asking for moderators to be here tomorrow. Let's see, okay, no problem. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, damn it. Stop it. Alright. So, yeah, man, that way, uh. Stop it. So, that way, um. So, that way, even the moderators can can, can look forward to something. Because I'm asking the moderators to be here tomorrow just in case, you know, we got girls online or, or whatever. And then guys get to arguing and bickering and get to trying to sh hate on each other and talk down on each other. We ain't gonna have that shit going on at all, man. That's like zero tolerance. Like, no man should be talking about another man on this channel at all. Man. We got too much. Unless you're talking about another man, unless you're talking about another man in a real positive, uplifting way, man. That's what we gonna build, brothers. We brother build, man. You know, so we ain't gonna talk about no other man in no bad way. We ain't gonna bring nobody down. We ain't gonna assassinate no characters. We ain't trying to take nobody out. We ain't trying to do that, you know. I, that's just what it is, man. You know, um, um, but yeah. So, so yeah. And you guys that also, you guys need to also subscribe or add or whatever to my Instagram because it makes it that much more easier. If the girl likes something you're saying and want to see a photo, you can just shoot it to my Instagram. I got more than one phone. I can pull your shit up right there and down. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have the laptop right now in front of me. So, um, well, I may have the laptop tomorrow. But uh, if I don't, I can just easily just pull your photo up. She'll be sitting right there, you know. And uh, we'll see it. Um, there will be no number exchanges. Uh, call me or what's your Instagram or what's your Facebook. She would not give any of that out. That is not going down. Don't even ask. Um, you will be warned the first time. Don't ask. If you keep asking and insisting, she's not going to tell you, and I'm not going to um, 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 reveal it because this is not what this is about. This is not mango. And if I present a mango, a uh, chappy, you can ask her. She can say it. Everybody can get it. Write it down. Go follow her, like her, send her some money, whatever the fuck you want to do. That's on you. 
But unicorn giveaway that would not happen because she's designated for one brother, one man. Okay, and that's whoever she chooses or what she like. That's what she's gonna get. And um, and even once that happened, I'll still be keeping tabs to make sure everything is good every so often, every few weeks or something. Hey, what's going on with you and my man? Y'all good? Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, no more. Coca Cola. Coño, no. What you mean, no? No. Por que? Porque Coca Cola. No. No. Poquito, por favor, mi amor. Never. Por favor, me. Just a little bit. And then agua, mucho agua. Coca Cola, then mucho agua. Por favor. Coca Cola, por favor, on Mars. Unmasked Coca Cola. She won't be drinking no Coca Cola. <laughs> she don't want me drinking no Coca Cola. She said I've been drinking too much Coca Cola. And, every, and so I went and bought some Coca Cola today. But I didn't know she didn't want me drinking Coca Cola. She told everybody that I'm not supposed to drink Coca Cola. I go to the store after my workout. Two liter Coca Cola. I come back in. See, I really want ginger ale, but this place over here don't sell fucking ginger ale. So I had to get some Coca Cola just to keep the acid reflux down from eating all this fucking food that they be saucing up and shit and want me to try all the goddamn time, sticking out in my mouth and shit. So I had to get the Coca Cola. I come in. I knew one of the girls looked at me and was like, she bust out laughing. So when I saw her bust out laughing, I'm like, oh shit, she, uh, the Sprite, man, they don't sell the Sprite here either, bro. This fucking Kamado right here don't have a Sprite or Coca-Cola, bro. No 7-Up either. I prefer all of that than Coca-Cola. I don't even drink Coca-Cola like that. So I bring the Coca-Cola in. I put it in the refrigerator, get that shit icy cold and shit like a slushy. And one of the girls come say some shit in Spanish. She said it in a way where I ain't understand that shit. So she's like the leader girl out of my chicks. Out of, the, out of my unicorns I have around her, She's like the alpha unicorn around them. So she kind of like who they report to. That's why if I, I got six of them, you notice I only say three usually around each other. I don't have the other three around this three because that her, she's not going, the other three clean together better than this three. You got to find out how your girls group up better. And these three right here group up better. And so, um, and, and she, and she out of them dominates them. And she say her face should be on this camera when I'm with them. <laughs> so that's how I did it. I kind of gave a glimpse a while back, but hey. But anyway, this Kamado over here don't have Sprite. Plenty much love, fam. Any air, you already know what time there, fam. Gracias, baby. Gracias. Daddy still get his way, though. But anyway, so she went off about this fucking Coca-Cola. Went off. I'm to my, you wanna see a Dominican girl angry? She went the fuck off, called me. They mouth is so foul. So Mama Webo is like saying, sick. So when a Dominican woman curses your ass out, those are the type of words that are gonna come out of her mouth. I'm just saying, so don't come here from America thinking that Oh, these girls don't talk shit. Don't think that these girls' mouth is worse than American black women's mouth. It's just we understand the American black woman. Okay? But the only difference is between the two is that the Dominican woman, she's just not a... I ain't going to say that because some of them are naggers. Um, it, it's just something different about when she argues and cuts your ass different from when, you know... The, the, the independent woman who don't need a man cusses your ass out because you don't want a, a, a woman who don't need you cursing you out. That's a little different from a woman who says, I need you, and she curses your ass out. So you get, it's a different type of passion from a woman who actually needs you cursing your ass out because she wants the best for you. But a motherfucker who don't need you cursing your ass out just to be cursing you out because she's selfish as a motherfucker because it's something she wants and that's why she doing that shit. See, these, she ain't she ain't cursing me out cause, cause she feel like she wants something out of the deal. She just telling me stop drinking so much fucking Coca-Cola on her watch. 
Like, do that shit. So don't do that shit on my watch. You see what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. I got to respect that. Uh, so I got to keep my word. And I ain't going to drink no more Coca-Cola. Even not on her watch because it must be something God could be revealing to her that needs to be me. Maybe I need to stop drinking fucking Coca-Cola. Get kidney stones or some shit. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, so like I was saying, guys, uh, I want to start doing this a little more often, like some hitch type shit, like hook some shit up, man. Like put you guys in connection with these Latinas because we'd be so afraid to give, to open up to the Dominican woman. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I, hey, I remember I say love with your mind. I don't give a fuck who you talking to. I don't give a fuck how good your girl lives. You love with your fucking mind, not with your heart. I don't give a fuck. Cause ain't no 100% good girl on this walking this fucking planet. Your mama ain't even that, and my mama ain't either. Goddamn it, your daughter ain't, and my daughter ain't. It just ain't no motherfucking one 100% woman walking this fucking planet. And I'm just saying that. This is how I feel. I don't give a fuck who your wife. That ain't her either. Nobody, no one, one, no woman on this planet. You need to be goddamn trusting 100%. I'm sorry, goddamn it. If you are doing that, kudos to you. All right, but over here, we not doing that shit, goddamn. No, we not gonna trust no woman 100%. So that's just what it is. Uh, say what you wanna say. But uh, but you scared to open up to the Dominican woman and trust her. You know, I hear guys all the time say, Dominic oh, you coming to the Dominican Republic to find a wife? Stupid motherfucker. Oh, hey man, you, you why, why you looking for good girls in the Dominican Republic? Oh, them girls in the Dominican Republic, easy. That because of the ones you be around, dude, you know? Oh yeah, nice. Mayana? Okay. Nice. No, I'm not going to Oh, nice. <laughs> you want to get on camera? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Mm. See? Nice. You're getting a little thick about that girl. You must be fucking a black man. Yeah, you fucking a black man. Anyway, but yeah, man, so, uh, anyway, yeah, she always want to model for me every fucking night. But yeah, but yeah, so we be so afraid to open up with the Dominican woman, but actually it's because we don't know how to pick them. We don't understand the culture. The only culture, the only thing we understand about the culture here is the, is the fucking mango world. So, so, and, and twerk, twerk, work, work, goddamn, you know. That's the only thing we understand about the culture here. Twerk, 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 mango, mango, mango. That's all we understand. We don't understand that that's really traditions and religions and faithfulness and loyalty and devotion even to you, for you foreigners, even for us foreigners, you know. You know, it's, it's still a lot, it's still a lot we have to learn about that, you know. We think that they don't like, they wouldn't fully accept the, the, the they don't fully accept the gringo. Or they don't fully accept uh, men from America. We think that they would choose, um, they would rather have the Dominican man over us, you see what I'm saying? You know, it's just so much so much we so much we got misconstrued it's because you're not you're not fishing in the right pond you're not you're not swimming in the right lake the right rivers you're not casting your net in the right part of the ocean or the sea you know you and you all in the wrong areas making all these fucking assumptions and all these fucking accusations and shit you know and all these claims and don't even know and i'm here to tell you that i motherfucking know you know, even in the short time that I've been living here, but there has been a good amount of time that I have been visiting here, but I've been doing my due diligence around this motherfucker. And I'm bringing forth unicorns to the table. And that's what I've been standing on since I started talking to you guys. Ever since you've known me, I've proven, I've proven to have as many mangoes, the top-notch mangoes, the ones... You, most of you guys paying $200 for a night, $150 a night, $100 a night, dime pieces, all the fake bodies, fake asses, titties, the mangoes, they got their own condos, houses, and cars, got everything goddamn for free. I can prove this.
proved it, proved it, proved it, done did it. Now it's time to bring forth the unicorns. And you, it, also, I don't have no fucked up experience to tell you. I don't have no bad story to tell you. I don't have nothing to say that's negative about no my experience in the, the Dominican Republic with Dominican women. With the Dominicans here in the Dominican Republic, the women, I don't have no treacherous stories, no scary stories, no money scheme stories, I'm gonna call the police, you don't pay me stories, or rob me stories, stole from me stories, cheated on me stories, tricked me stories, fooled me stories. I don't have none of that shit. If I'm telling those type of stories, I'm telling it from somebody else that I witnessed it happened to, and I'm just talking about that shit, but me having them type of stories, I don't have them type of stories. And that ain't luck, that ain't, that's just pure game. That's game. Okay, that's just game. Where we at, where we at, I'm going through some of these comments. That's what we need to do our topic about how they hit for free. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, uh, Life with CB checking in. What's up, what's up, baby? Uh, one of my personal brothers, also personal, he's in the lines then, man. Congratulations on his thousand subscribers plus more. I'm sure he over that number now. Um, congratulations, brother. Yeah, we're going to talk about how to get it for free. We'll, we'll talk uh, um, surface on it. Then I'll start getting down deeper in some 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 strategies that actually works. You know, uh, trade day. Nah, I haven't been out. A long time. Okay, he talking to somebody else. Cameron, send off. I'm out here in St. Santo Domingo tomorrow. Been watching videos and picking up game for weeks. Santiago. Oh, Saint. Oh, so you in Santo? I'm out there in Santo Domingo tomorrow. But hit me up. I'm in Santo Domingo. If you want to meet in person. Uh. -uh. My bad, guys. I have to speak this in. Yeah, me and talk to you. Tell her no, no problem. I tell her, do, habla ella, do no, do no, do me, no, um, no, um, estoy en serio. Do you understand? En serio. Tell her, no, no problem. Me, no. See. Um, me, me protect. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, do it ten day. Okay, all right. That's that's her now saying she don't want nobody that's gonna use or try to trick her. So, guys, you see how I'm batting for this, and then I just received that message. Um, that that she just sent the message. You know, um, matter of fact, let me sh let me show proof. Let me show you proof. I'm a mento, me more. I'm a mento, I'm a mento. Let me see. Uh, cover this up. Cover this. If you guys can read, if you guys can read Spanish, if you see the last word, it says perro si. Se que no vea la pena, pena, mejor mi cuando sola. Me quedo sola. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Tengo muchos hombres detrás de mí, pero para una mala compañía, mejor me quedo sola. Sí. Okay, so what she's saying is she don't want nobody who's going to use her and mistreat her. This is exactly what she's saying. Tazo, tú sabes cómo es. Yo, yo tengo mucho hambre detrás de mí. So I covered up I covered up a page to keep her protected. But as you can see, those are the facts. I'm not I'm like I'm going through this and I had to put my face on it and say I'm gonna protect her. She has nothing to worry about. You see what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying, like it's gonna be a thorough investigation. I got to know the gentleman. I got to dig in his shit. Matter of fact, if I can't see your Instagram, your Facebook, if I can't see none of all that shit, you, know, you good. If I can't see none of that shit, man, you, you might as well hang it up. You know, you want them invisible people, you might as well, uh, you might as well just hang it up. Let her know that she's okay and I'm doing everything I can to connect her with a very good man that she has nothing to worry about. And also, I'm doing a security check to make sure that he's who 
he is, and also is someone that I have in mind that uh, will help also to make sure everything is okay. Yeah, so, so this is real. This ain't no, see, mangoes went kill. Now you, now you guys that be talking about, oh man, Dominican women so approachable. You don't have to go through all of this shit. Now you see the shit. Unicorns, you got to go through this shit. And, and um, 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 yo, uh, yo, yo, abla, uh, con ella mañana. Yo, boy. Yo, boy. Hablar, hablar con ella, con ella mañana. mañana. Okay. Gracias. That's how I learned Spanish. But yeah, so now you see, man, you know, um, so now you see that it's not, if this was some mango action, it'd be, okay, cool, no problem. Just tell whoever want to meet me. I get online. We act crazy. No, 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 no. This girl has been taking me through hell for two fucking days now. <laughs> she means she's like, yo, what's going on? And I just got her talking to her. And what she'll do is any questions she can't answer, she'll just show me the phone and uh, uh, she'll ask me and I'll go from there. So now you see, man, I'm doing the hard work for you. Basically, listen, man, basically, this is what's going on. This is why I say y'all gonna start paying for this shit. I don't give a fuck. You gonna start paying for this shit. I may do one more for free. I may do one more for free. But you gonna start paying for this shit. And this is... And this is just, um, what you call that shit? Finders fee. Finders fees you're going to pay for it to have the number. Because once I give her, once she's presented to you, she's already in her mind saying you good. She ain't even finna try you. She basically just, okay, she's already, she's not on that. Well, we got the, well, I don't, well, we, she going to already be like, I trust you because of me and my girls and what my girls are saying on my behalf and what I'm saying. That's. And you got to understand, this sister reached out for help. She reached out for advice. She reached out for, you know, guidance in this area. Like, yo, I want to meet a good man. She didn't say he had. She didn't say he had to be American. She didn't say he had to be from overseas. She just said, do he know a good man? Because I, I, I tricked her. I said, well, I know some good Dominican men. She said, I don't care. Just introduce me to a good man, like a man like you, you know. So like, okay, cool, no problem, you know. Because one thing about it, no matter what I do, my unicorns, if you want to see her, my guy, Lord of Mercy, go to my Instagram page right now. I posted the photo of her. Matter of fact, it's two photos of her. Or if you, uh, I don't want you to get off this live, but if you get off the live and go to a post, I just made a post literally. If you go to my page, I don't know how the posts work, but I made a post literally with her photo. Uh, matter of fact, me and more. I'm on mental. I have the photo right here. You ain't got to go nowhere. Stay right there. You ain't got to go nowhere. You ain't got to go nowhere. Here she go right here. Natural, pretty hair, nice smile, nice teeth, nice little eyes, nice height. So we're going to do the height. We're going to do everything tomorrow, man. All right, no problem. De nada. <clears throat> Here go my rusty ass. Back in your face again. <laughs> but, yeah, so, uh, but, yeah, so, you know, in her mind, most of these girls going to already be ripe for the ripe by the time you get them you know you just have to do the little things to get to know her you know y'all get to know each other but they're gonna already have in their mind like okay he's not a strength they're gonna be ready to invite you to the family because of the way i'm putting the game down i'm doing the lead work i'm doing the picking i'm doing everything i'm getting the women that you really want to travel with and meet but being that you can't find these type of women or you don't have enough you can find it now you can't find it. especially if you follow my channel long enough you can definitely see it and find it, but the places you guys go to soar and um, Boca Chica, a lot of the places y'all go, even when you're in Puerto Plata and all the rest of the places, you 
you don't see what what uh you don't see what i see i'm here every fucking day i see the most vulnerable moments i see the times like now in the barrio like i see who walk. i did a video earlier and posted it where i'm jogging and working out and squatting i've seen so much beauty just dropping out the fucking trees they seen some far and shit doing squats in the middle of the street holding up traffic they wonder who the hell this crazy motherfucker here with his phone in his hand um, and you know, I had to go back to the streets where the guy tried to take my phone at, and I went right now with the phone, with a newer phone in my hand, goddamn. Yeah, I'm a doubt that, but I know, I know, I know, y'all. I know, I always learn shit the hard way. But anyway, but you know, I'm out here, I see, I see the fruits of the labor, and then you gotta understand, my unicorn, no unicorns. This, listen, 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 listen. Unicorn attracts unicorns, all right? My unicorns used to always tell me, why do you keep putting mangoes on your YouTube? Why? I didn't. My nurse chick that y'all guys like to ask about. She used to be so mad at me, like, why do you keep doing? But I had to break. I had to give you what you wanted. She used to be like, why don't you go get girls like me? Put them on your channel. How I feel about them? You got fucking these whores on your damn channel. Don't do that. And I was like, man, you don't understand, y'all. That. Shawty, you don't understand, Shawty. Just fall back, small back, just chill. You know, um, so, you know, but the unicorns be happy to see me with unicorns. You see what I'm saying? So they they attract unicorns. My, my unicorns look at a chicken and be like, uh-uh. Oh, they look at a chicken and say, uh-huh. You know, you know, so, and my point is, half the work is done for you guys, man. Only thing you guys gotta do is be on your best fucking behavior. Don't be fucking stupid, and don't fucking make me look bad. Don't make her look bad. Don't make your own self look bad. You ain't gonna make me look bad anyway. Even if you put bad tatted on my fucking forehead, I'm not gonna look bad. So let me take that back. Don't make yourself look bad. All right? Don't goddamn do no stupid shit. After after God used me to use them to help you with something, you do some dumb shit like. Go chase a fucking mango, and you got a fucking gorgeous ass Pocahontas brown skin, long pretty ass hair, straight teeth, nice eyes, nice body, nice vagina, cooking for you, rubbing your feet, ass woman. You ain't gotta worry about it going for your pockets, your money, or none of that shit. You ain't gotta worry about none of that shit. She's not gonna. This chick not gonna do that. She's not coming at your pocket. She's not finna say send her nothing to Western Union. She ain't finna say none of that shit. No. Cause she got her own shit going on. Now I'm telling you about her now. She got her own shit. We gonna talk about the interview tomorrow. Y'all can ask all the questions you want. She got her own shit. She she in school. She get in actively in school now during the pandemic. So she got a school check. Boom. She one of the first one. She the second one other than the girl that's in this to me now. The second one I know to get a check from school. Usually it's the other way around. But uh, but they are in the same classes too though. So. So, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, you have nothing to worry about, man, you know, so y'all got to start goddamn supporting, man, you know, support, 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 nah, nah, I'm not going to be selfish, she going to lie tomorrow, y'all want to support her, that's fine, but I'm going to give you at the side eye, like, motherfucker, you going to support her, you going to support me, but, oh, matter of fact, um, speaking of support, the last girl that y'all supported was the unicorn on my live in the compo. The one who actually, she's with someone now. But I wanted to say this right here. I gotta be honest with you guys. Y'all sent her $20, I believe. Somebody sent the $20 and said, hey, this for the unicorn. $20, $25. I gave her 1,000 pesos. That's like, $17. I didn't give her the whole thing. The reason why I didn't give her the whole thing because during the time of our separation and me having to leave, when I reached him, I couldn't get to the bank and all that shit down. Flip flopper, if he on here, he'll tell you he be getting all my cash outs for me. He be getting my cash. So when y'all cash out me, I go straight to flip flop. He give me the cash because the situation with some bullshit with Wells Fargo locked my account for a minute for using, you know, whatever. So it's gonna open back up in a second. I'm waiting on somebody to bring my card. So, but when I reached in my pocket, I only had a 
thousand pesos. That's what the fuck I gave her, you know. So hey, that's what it is. But uh, but my boy Flip can vouch for me. I run straight to him when I whenever I need to. Uh, whenever I'm around and I gotta go uh, pull some uh, pull the cash up off the cash up. I go to him. Y'all know the cash up card don't work over here anyway. But I don't I don't put that there. In that particular bank that's connected to the cash app on that bank card, I don't, I don't, try, I don't do no installations with that. The only time I do that is when I got that particular bank account with Wells Fargo. When I have that card back available, somebody's traveling out here to bring it to me. I'll go out there and get it. Once I have that card in my hand, then I'll go ahead and deposit it into the account, and I better use the bank card. That's what's going on with that. So I just want to be honest about that. Uh, she didn't get the whole 20 or 25, I can't remember which one it was, but she did get damn 98% of this shit. Uh, so you guys want to donate to the girl, that's fine, but hey, man, goddamn, um, motherfucker, I'm the fucking one making this shit happen for you, goddamn, so hey, but we'll wait, let's go through some comments, man, see what you guys got going on in these comments right quick, like uh, uh, Gangs Nation, and let's see what's up with that stack, uh, what we had, um, yeah, uh, Cameron Sandoff. Yeah, you get in Santo Domingo tomorrow, man. Hit me up, man. Uh, uh, hit me up. Let me know you're here. Maybe we can get up, man. I don't know, man. You know, I don't mind me, brothers. Uh, I ain't that familiar with you. I don't think I've seen you that. I have seen you. I'm not familiar with Cameron. Okay. But, you know, I don't give a fuck. We can meet up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, damn, you know. Let's meet. Um, um, when we at trade, they say, uh, I ain't no groupie. I was just wondering. I'm just interested in, I don't know what that is. Live life, what's up, man? What's going on, man? One of my personal bros, man. God damn. And I always laugh when I when I, when I mention it. Live life, cause, man, we had some fucking times, man. We had some times. We had some fucking times, man. Live life, man, we had some time, man. It's good to have a good brother. I think it was like seven or eight of us, too, goddamn. We were just kicking shit, man. We done had some time, man. And a lot of guys talk about that round table video we made when all of us at the round table and the camera just kept going around, bouncing to different brothers, spin shit. Who, who fucking channel that song? It ain't my channel. It's on uh, TMI channel. It's on uh, Live Life channel. It's probably who channel it on. Tony Brown, I hear you, King. Bitcoin owner, thumbs up. Uh, okay, I done went back. Where we at? No, 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 no. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh, Jose is spin out. Say, um, King, I sent you a message to. I sent a message to you because I need a piece of land in Puerto Plata. Uh, in the other video, but you know, answer my, my. I want the name and the phone number of the person you talked to. The reason why I didn't answer you is because of this. You you asked for the name of the per no problem. Go to my Instagram number one, K I N G underscore score. Lock it. That's Instagram, and we'll chop it up. But that guy who number you asked for, he is nothing. The only thing that he has to offer is this deal that he brought to the. Just all about going out to find particular land, which is a lot of land that's available everywhere, you know, anywhere. The Dominican Republic is easy to get land because you can just walk up barrios and different communities and people and just say, I want to buy your house and your land. And they're just going to be like, what the fuck? That, you know, they would love to sell it, you know. Uh, but he brought to the table the, the, the store that you saw, and um, and he has land, a little plot of land, and, um, and another little place he have, but he's not selling it, but I mean, hey, if you just want his contact information, I can uh, get it to you. But that's why I didn't answer, because what you was asking for isn't there. So just message me on Instagram, and that way we can verbally talk and we can figure out what it is you're really trying to, well, we can take you in the direction you're trying to do it. You're trying to get some land out here, which city you want to be in. Uh, you know, uh, if I don't know anything about where you're trying to go, I'm sure 
uh, Taylor May knows, I'm sure. Um, uh, uh, Greg knows at Flip Flop. Um, a couple of guys that I can connect you with that may know more so than I know, you know. And I don't mind we got all talking, but I'm sure some of the places I didn't know about some of the anywhere you can pop Porta Plata, that's what you're talking about, Porta Plata. I definitely know about Porta Plata. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of my girls, one of my unicorns, she's an attorney in Porta Plata. So, um, hell, I could even connect you with her and she'll talk to you more so about that. You know, see, these are the numbers you probably want, you know, <laughs> versus, you know, uh, my Dominican friend, which is my, you know, he's a, he's a good guy, but at the same time, um, I don't know if he can help you in that area the way you need to be helped from, as far as me vouching and me passing on a number, you know. So I, my, my, my thing is to have your best interest at heart. You're an African-American man, come from my community, you know, so my thing is, well, at least I thank you all, uh, my thing is I want to be one of the ones that hands on with my people. You understand what I'm saying? All right, you Latinas, do Latinas in U.S., you Latinas in the U.S. that speak in Spanish too, you always, oh, your Latinas in the U.S. that's speaking Spanish to you always gonna kind of get that. I don't know. Wingstop got five cent wings. Now if I lie, Wingstop, where you at? Where you at with the Wingstop shit? Them badass kid passport been stamped G in the DR. Reporting live from headquarters. The go. Oh, this what's happening, bro. Come get it stamped again and get you. Come get your brother experience out here. Come get it stamped again, man. Come on out here and get that thing stamped again so I can show you some shit. Uh, Lord of Mercy TV um, says, I got land in Bani. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. How's it? K. Bengal, that's a nice name, man. My brother, what up? Cincinnati in here, shout out to Cincinnati, man. I see you still pushing, real over the fake brother. Oh yeah, yeah, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, what's happening? Yeah, of course, of course I'm still pushing, man. You know, can't no force on earth stop me from pushing, man. No force on planet, you know what I mean? I'm glad you checked in though, brother. Can I drink my Coca Cola in peace? Tranquila. Coca Cola, tranquila, drink. Okay, no. Coca Cola, finito, no mas. Coca Cola, finito. And casino, no mas. Tu vaso, no mas. Tu no vas a tomar mas Coca Cola. No problem. <clears throat> No problem, no, no, problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. Yeah, she beautiful. Thank you very much. I don't use Instagram. I only use WhatsApp. Okay. What? Well, damn, brother. I, I would like. Okay, that's cool. That's fine too. Um. You know what I want, King? Oh, Tony Brown, most definitely, guy. I got you. See, this is another brother. It's another brother that a, a unicorn connection, but we just been off camera with it. You know what I mean? And, uh, he chose out of three. Yo, okay, Isis. Carry on. No problem. You know, but we've been carrying on off of camera. But you know, like I say, this 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 goes on. But I got you though, Tony. Lord of Mercy, Lord of Mercy TV, Haitians in the building. That's right. Um, SV the God, sup, man? What's happening? Trade a. Um, you be late with the comment reads. Yeah, I know, man. I be trying to get everything I need to get out of the way first, then I start going through the comments. I'm one trap minded sometimes, man. I gotta work on that shit. Keen, I will send you my number. I will be there soon. Yeah, send me your number, man, because that way I can go and lock you in, because that way I can lock you in and delete it real quick, and then we can talk on uh, WhatsApp and go from there. 
But yeah, guys, man, yeah. So <clears throat> I need everybody to decide. Buy me uh, La Romana for my next trip, for my next visit. Buy me or La Romana. And um, we're going to bust that move. I'm trying to bust that move no later than Sunday or Monday, possibly. Um, and we're going to get in the trenches. Um, e either place I go, I got them lined up waiting on us. You know what I'm saying? I, pre I, I preferably, I, I, my preference for first, me, but I'm going to let y'all pick. But me, what I, would, what I say first is by me. But, um, so, uh, and then swing back around and get um, La Romana. Um, so, I'm like the same distance from both of them. I'm like the same for Domingo, so I'm, either way it go. And don't forget, right here in the stomping grounds of San Pedro and all the other little places. So y'all go ahead and say what you want to say and, and, and direct me in the way you want to go. But we're going to be live in Bania, either La Romana. We're going to both. We're going to both. But I'm just saying one's going to be before the other. So um, y'all just uh, be ready, man. We're going to, you know, um, we're going to have a good time, man. We're going to be out there. We're going to be showing the girls. We're going to sit down with the girls. We're going to chop it up with the girls. And, you, and you know, you're probably going to have you some unicorns to meet out there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play. We're going to have a good time. Y'all know how I do. Are mangoes jealous of unicorns and vice versa because of fame or money? Um, even popularity. Uh, Tony Brown, I sent you a message on WhatsApp. Thanks for the shot. You already know what time it is, good brother. Um, okay, SV the God asked a good question. He said, um, are mangoes jealous of unicorns and or vice versa? Um, maybe unicorns may be jealous of the fame and the money that the mango may have, even popularity. Yes. 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 And let me let me elaborate. Let me let me break this down. I, I get it all the time. Now, you remember early in my life, I was like, the unicorns would be so upset with me, like, yo, why you got the mango on the line? You know, they watch my shit so much, they know what mangoes are now. You know, you got Dominican girl walking around here tonight. Oh, am I a mango? I'm like, um, yes, you are a mango. <laughs> yes, but you, you know, yes, you are. I got it. But anyway, um, but you notice I said that the unicorns like, yo, why you got the mangoes in your video and blah, 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 you know. I think that the, the unicorns be more jealous of the mangoes versus the mangoes being jealous of the unicorns. Because when I let the mangoes know one of my favorite pitches that I like to say, pay for what? You, you done fucked every man on the planet. And you want me to pay for that? Hold on, hold on. No disrespect, baby. I got nothing but love for you. But she ain't fucked harder than nobody. And she in the house. The man goes and be like, okay, well, yeah, that's a good one. She is a good one. Okay. All right. They ain't gonna get their money. You know, that's all they worried about, money. You see what I'm saying? But the unicorn, if she, if they even thank you around a mango, they go fucking crazy, man. I'm talking about, I done seen some shit. Matter of fact, mangoes, jealous of mangoes, goddammit. If a mango, if your mango finds you with another mango, She's going to get mad as shit and go fucking crazy. But if she catch you with a unicorn, she's like, hmm. maybe, a little, it, maybe a little, you know, stiff about it, but it ain't going to be like that crazy shit. You see what I'm saying? It's something about mangoes that make bitches crazy. Unicorn catch you with another unicorn. She's gonna be like, 
Well, she she ain't as pretty as I am, you know. Well, she, but it ain't gonna be that go crazy shit. It's a. Any of you guys that have been dating Latin women long enough know what I mean by when I say that crazy shit. Like, it goes from being this perfect little angel and turning to Satan, man. I'm to my literally like a fucking demon. Like, their eyes and how they be acting. And I be like, yo, what the fuck is this shit, goddamn? Like, that's another type of anger. But it's that I love you shit, though. It ain't that. It's that I love you shit. And you need to stop with that shit, goddamn, you know. But uh, but yes, to answer your question, I don't think the unicorn is necessarily jealous of the money part. Cause that would be suspicious as fuck right there. That'd be a first red flag. Boom. Mira, mira, mira. Um, eso and peanut butter, twenty Sandwich, do you intend that? Hey. <laughs> Girl, you're a trip. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's like another type of, uh, you know, another type of situation. But it's not that they're jealous of the money part. You know, if you got a girl that's jealous because the mango making money, you need to tell her she join the mango. Let's try to convince her to make some money too. You know, because it probably can happen. But they're usually upset about the fact that I hear some unicorns make her ass fake. Mine's real. I hear that a lot. You know, always trying to make sure she has your attention. As long as you don't look at the mango, don't look. When you with your unicorn, don't even look at the mango. To be safe, don't look at no fucking body, all right? <clears throat> to be safe, just don't fucking look at nobody. And I know that's some real, like, beta shit. I don't want that shit. Coño. Coño. I don't want that shit. Coño, coño. I don't want that shit. Coño. I don't want that shit. Did I just say I don't want that shit? I don't. Listen, I don't. Ah. 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 good. Mm. <clears throat> Corn your shit. It's like she calling me a pussy. She calling me something. Shit. <clears throat> so yeah, guys. You see, eh, eh, this perfecto of peanut butter and sandwich. No, me no más. I said no mask, you just keep sticking shit in my mouth. But yeah, so, it is good. I ain't gonna lie, it's good as shit. But, <clears throat> but it's not that they're jealous of, just don't look at the mango, because they are jealous of the mango. Only if it's a threat to their man. But you'll never hit, now let me, let, me, let me clear it up now. Let me clear this up. But you would never, like say if I'm around unicorns, that's not my unicorn, she's just not nobody's unicorn, she would never hate on the mango. She would never feel bad about the mango. She would never like look at the mango like, and they don't do that type of shit here, really. It's really friendly. The only time that would be a problem, if the man in, of the unicorn is threatened, as far as the relationship is threatened, if, if the mango come too close to the man, that's and she's gonna be watching the man, the, man, the unicorn gonna be watching like a motherfucker. That's when it's a problem. Other than that, they're not really like 
Unicorn's not really just jealous of the mango like that. Unless her man is involved. That's when it gets fucking crazy. Like, see how she just forced that fucking cracker in my fucking mouth? And I really don't want none. You know what I mean? So what you say, uh, C say, laugh out loud, speaking facts, can't knock it. Um, I remember I was dealing with a girl from my homeland, Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast. That's what's happening. Uh, and she started tripping when I was with the mango. Man, the mangoes that was in my videos are my fucking friends, man. And we wasn't doing nothing, man. I, man, unicorn went crazy about that shit, man. Like, I thought. I thought it was the exorcism had went on around that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? That's just how it is. Like, the unicorn will be pretty much jealous if her man is around. And you gotta understand that girls are jealous anyway. But most definitely, if you got a woman who's targeting your pockets, you know, she if the unicorn is trying to protect your pockets, she's not asking for money. She's helping you save money. She's helping you budget. She's speaking for you. And she's doing all these things for you. She's not gonna wanna see you go to the mango and just pay for some pussy, man. That's the bottom line, bro. That's the bottom line, all right? That's the bottom line. Because my unicorns, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. My unicorns be calling me prostitute. They be calling me uh, perro. They be calling me dog. They be calling me all kind of shit. <laughs> but not because I'm actually doing it, and trust me, they would not be with me if they felt like I was really lowering my standards like that. But they just, they way of just, they just Dominicans just talk shit, man. They just, when they see me tomorrow, I'm finna do a video with them. When I, when I say I'm going to Sassu, they be like, Pero, Conyo, tu prostitute. Tu, I'm talking about Tubi. Yeah, I'm like, yo, look, 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 look. Tu habla yo, Pero, huh? Yeah. Huh, see? Tu, tu, tu. Call me Pedro, but yeah. correct though. Um, prostitute, yo. See. Si. Si. <laughs> punto, yo. See, she just called me a punto, man. You know, you know. So that's why I say they be, God, they be, they be giving me hell, man. They be giving me hell, bro. They be. But they know, they know, they know that it's business. They know it's business, man. You know, I'm to my. I gotta start putting the other ones on camera too, man. I'm gonna start putting the other ones. Y'all just see her a lot because she dominate this group here. And you'll hear the other one's voices, you know, but she don't want, she, she feel like she the main one out of these groups. So she feel like it's her image, her face that need to be on now. Give her some peaches. I left the peaches at grandma house. Hey, they said Dunday, Dunday peaches. They said mama house, mama casa, the peaches. <laughs> Yeah, I left him at uh, grandma's house, man. See, yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, they, they be calling me all kind of hoes, dogs, uh, punto, whatever the fuck. That, that means ho. They be calling me dog. They be calling me ho. They be calling me prostitute. So the unicorns, now listen, the unicorns call me ho, prostitute, dog, stinky pinky. They tell me I'm getting paid for fucking bitches. They be talking about a lot of shit, man. But the mangoes call me cheapy, cheapy, elbow. Um, mango, so sore chicas call me cheapy, cheapy, me. I'm like, me cheapy, cheapy. I'm your sanky panky? Yo, then what that make, make you? <laughs> she don't understand that shit. <laughs> what that make you if I'm the sanky panky guy, then you the, you, you the Western Union mommy. Do? Yo? Okay, no problem, man. I'm tu, uh, estoy tu prostituta. Tu prostituta? No, mi es, estoy, soy mm -hmm. tu mm -hmm. prostituta. Yo, tu prostituta. Si. Sí. Si? Sí? Yeah. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> but, uh, What you say, bro? You said, uh, uh, yeah, young J, 2016, 21-6, uh, man. It's crazy, man. They be, they be giving me hell, man. But they know I'm a good dude, man. They know that, you know, I just be uh, kicking shit with the mangoes and shit, man. I be kicking shit with the mangoes, but uh, 
So they, they just, that's their way of saying. That's the way of saying, I'm jealous. I am insecure with this shit. And you better be careful because you are a fucking hoe. We know you ain't no hoe, but we're going to call you a hoe today, you know. Because I promise you, I promise you, if anything was to happen to me in the Dominican Republic by a female, if I get stabbed, my dick cut off, throat cut, it's because I got caught, the bitch, the unicorn caught me sticking, literally sticking a, a fucking mango. You understand? And that'll never happen, so we ain't got to worry about that, guys. Because they will flip about that mango shit. You know, because you playing with her health, you playing with her her integrity, you making her look bad, you know, because the thing about a unicorn, the downside about having a unicorn is that when you got a unicorn, she's going to post your pictures, she's going to put them on Facebook, she's going to put them on Instagram. My my photos is all on their shit, and I haven't... I, I have posted their shit, but y'all that follow my Instagram and shit, y'all see that I say my friends, right? I say friends. I'm on that shit like this is my husband, goddamn. Like, whoa. That is how it is because you got the Dominican way of getting married. And when you just cut that, 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 um, that, um, what you call it? Uh, Kanye. What you call it? That, um, 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 what you call it? Um, common law. That common law shit. That can't be careful. That common law shit works. That shit is real out here. So, uh, so, so they do that common law shit. So these girls, you could just put a ring on a girl finger and y'all say y'all husband and wife. So a lot of these people that be talking about they married out here ain't legally married through papers. They just legally married through cultural beliefs. You know, it's like, it's a cultural thing. Like, the culture, that's, like, when I'm with one of my unicorns, this one in particular, her family be like, this is her husband. That's what they say to everybody, goddamn. You know, it ain't no... So it's not the American-minded way, you know. We say that shit. We been with somebody five years, we say this is my wife, but we know, you know what the fuck ever. But this shit, when they say that shit, the, every, the community respects that shit. Like, for real. It would take a mango to break that. You understand what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, so over at C say laugh out loud. Who do you think is more expressive in cursing a brother out? Uh American woman or Dominican? More expressive. Hmm. Uh Prentice Carter say, are they that good in bad dog? Oh, I got let me answer broad question first. Um now more expressive. Now, I'm going to answer this question the war, just the way it is. I'm not going to try to interpret what expressive is. I'm going to do it like this. Dominicans are more expressive. The Latin community is way more expressive with anything they do because of the passion and high strong improvement. You understand what I'm saying? They're very, very, very passionate about whatever the fuck. If you're tired, if your car breaks down, if the Dominican men around, they're going to come run to passionately, even if they want money or not, they're going to passionately change your fucking tie, grab your fucking bags, you know, um, and when they curse you out, when they, when these girls curses you out, it's like, it's like second nature, like, it's, it's so effortless, you know, it's just like, conjure you, mama, way up. What the, who the fuck are you talking to? You? Like, yo, what the fuck? You know, but it's out of love. It's not like how the, the, the American woman, when she curses you out, it's out of hate. Like, it's out of hate. She probably let some anger build up or some shit. It's out of hate. From my 37 years of experience, it's, it's out of hate when they curse you out. You know, if your sister in America curse you out, and it's out of love. You know what I'm saying? When your mama curses you out, it's out of love. When your girlfriend in the Dominican Republic curses you out, it's out of love. When that mango curses you out, out here, it's out of hate. God damn it. <laughs> she don't like you. Unless it's your mango now. 
That's why you catch mangoes cursing you out into my calling the police on your ass. Cause they're not your fucking mango. But your unicorn will curse you out like how your mama would. But it'll be just some worse words because here you gotta understand, cornyo is a terrible word, but it's only terrible to Americans. Dominicans don't think it's that terrible. You see what I'm saying? They don't. They don't. Children say cornyo here. Yeah. Cornyo. So mama huevo is a disrespect. Very disrespectful fucking word, phrase. It's like suck a dick or something. But everybody uses it. I mean, yeah, the guy said the guy, women said it. It's like, it's not like how we, it's just different mindsets, man. If she, if she look at you and say suck the dick, you know, like, you gonna swear she done hurt your fucking feeling, but in her mind, she am like, I'm gonna say suck a dick. Like, what's the problem? I didn't say, I didn't put the dick in your mouth. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you know? So, <laughs> So this is how, it's just different cultures. <clears throat> so that's the type of things you have to worry about. You have to be mindful of, because you'll be gonna destroy your whole relationship off of something like that, you know? But you can tell her suck a dick, she's like, okay, your food is sitting on the table. Um, let's eat, say the grace, let's do it, you know? Uh, are they that good in bed, dog? Prentice Carter, yes. Now, I've had Venus Waylands, I've had Haitians, I've had African Americans, I've had Dominican Americans, Latin Americans, and America. I've had Costa Rica, Jamaican. Oh, yeah. I had quite a few of quite a few different breeds of women. But um, I must say, I have Puerto Ricans. I must say that all the Latin community are extremely entertaining and very much so delicious. Uh, Haitians have some really good nunca nunca. But the Dominicans and especially the ones with the good nuka nuka, they are very spicy, very passionate. That they, they, they go that word again, high strong temperament. They go that word again, so it's gonna be, if it's good to her, you definitely gonna fucking know. She's finna definitely let you know. You know? <laughs> um, if it's good to her, no matter what she's doing, no matter if she's giving you head, She's, if, if it's good to her when you when she give you head, she, you're gonna fucking know. Trust me. It's just something about the healthy avocado eating, coconut water drinking, barefoot walking, cold shower taking, no air conditioning, hot sweaty sets having. natural woman it's just something about that it's very good and if you ain't tried it yet my brother you need to try it and there's a difference between the mango and unicorn hint as well so I had my fair share of mangoes and I had my fair share of unicorns my mangoes are just out there in the streets because they belong to the streets so, you know, it's like an off and on thing with them whenever I get around to them, you know, whenever we make time for each other. But my uni all my unicorns that I done been with, I'm still with. Somebody just messaged me now. Somebody watching. What is it? Explain to me what Cornyo is. Somebody just explain to me what Cornyo is. Cornyo is shit, like fuck. Cornyo is like fuck. Uh, 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 shit, uh, bitch, it's something like that. It's like one of them words that I guess you can't translate it in English. But my one of my sweet American Dominicans, she just texted me and said, Cornyo, no, so she's watching this show. Thank you, baby. I'm glad you're watching this show, baby. My sweet love, my sweet love, baby. In the States, ATL, Georgia. 
and she's Dominican. So she was my sweet friend before coming out of here. She's still my sweet friend. And I supposed to been over there with her family for New Year's and stuff. But she just went all out of the fucking whack, man. I just couldn't goddamn get that. What we at? Young J216 say Haitians real slept on. Okay, Haitians real slept on down now. Uh, Cause most of us go Dominican. Got a Haitian with some fire. Yeah, Haitians um got to understand it's the same island, man. This is this is one, this is one, this is one big island. They just split with Haitians and Dominicans, and uh, so they eat from the same tree and drinking from the same river, goddammit. So, and I'm here to tell you, man, I am a blessed man to be indulged and embedded in all of this, man. I'm having a good time right here, man. I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't give a damn. I would not change it. No. Okay. We get to do. Do. Hmm? Linda. No. Um, extensions me no gusta extensions. Uh, me no gusta surgery. Um, me no gusta surgery. Me no gusta. Hands, hands, grande hand. No, look, me no gusto. Oh, money con. Money con. See, see, me no gusto money con. No, me no gusto money con. Too money con. Me no gusto. You supposed to be mad at me anyway. Why are you laughing and giggling and shit? You supposed to be mad at me anyway. She's supposed to be mad at me because I was talking to a lot of my mangoes today. And uh, and she was over my shoulder looking at my phone while I was... That's what I was trying to tell y'all. All right, now. Unicorns. See, I'm going to make a... You know what? I might just say that for a video, but y'all will get it on this live right now, just partially. There's a downside to unicorns, man. Or should I say flip side? You get stabbed. You get cut. Um, if you on the fuck shit, half the time, they are, they are right. You get, if one of y'all get cut to my keen like it, I'm going to say, motherfucker, I told you you was wrong in the first place, all right? But if they whip that knife out, you're probably fucking wrong, right? It take a lot to get the knife out. But once it's out, it's gonna get the slicing and dicing, my dude. Unicorns, they'll lose their fucking temper. They'll lose their fucking temper. Uh, and lose control. They would not call the police on you. So what I tell you. So that means your ass probably gonna be trying to call the police. And if you tell me, man, I'm gonna call the police, she gonna look at you like, let me speak to the officer. Officer, this is a, a, a relationship problem. Please, I am not in trouble or anything like that. His ass is, okay? So talk to me, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, police, I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know they gonna bleed that Dominican woman. Man, let me tell you something, man. It takes a lot to get to that point. But unicorns, they will go off on your ass playing games, man. Playing games, bro. Um, mangoes will too. Only if she's your mango meaning. What I mean by your mango meaning, she thinks you're her boyfriend. You're taking care of her. That's your fucking mango. That's you fucking her or whatever on a consistent basis. And y'all spend a lot of time together. She's up under you. She's bringing you money home or right? Or you take care however it fucking go. You either her trick or her daddy. One or the other. But she will go the fuck off too now. 
So it's like once you they once you they man, you know. It can get real dangerous for you playing that, that fucking water like that, you know. Uh, so I try to be on the straight and narrow. So it's just to understand that now. I want to hear you say what Kenny Lockett said, goddamn. Nah, motherfucker, I'm telling you, don't play. Kenny Lockett said he got six unicorns. All right, that doesn't mean he do this shit, okay? All right. Um, <clears throat> now. Now. Oh, uh, you're keep your eyes up around his mouth. Saint to Domingo. Now, you will get sliced and diced. That's one. For two, you will get uh, closed up, locked in a room, boxed in. Remember I said in the last video until she get her point across to you. Let her get her point across fast. That way you see her point across, you're free to go. I know it sounds kind of psychotic, but if you listen to bachata, if you listen to the music, it's pretty psychotic. If you listen to uh, like their blues, it's pretty psychotic. Now you remember our blues back in the day when I'm 37, so you in your 30s, you know, uh, grandma used to play them blues You're like mom, that fine, so sweet, sweet. All the blues about heartbreaks and being sad and can't pay your light bill and shit. You know, the blues. That was like very, very sad music. Their blues is I'm gonna love you until I kill you type of music. <laughs> if you you have hurt me so bad that the darkness has arrived and now it's time to cut your head off type of music, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so translate a lot of that music, man, look at it. But you got to understand though, it's, it's different cultures, so a lot of they cutting your head off don't mean anything to them, you understand what I'm saying? So it, this is like the flip side of having, and this is why the unicorn, you got the damn near and any of these guys on here that dated Dominicans or dated Latinas, ain't just not Dominicans, it's Latin, Latinas, all right? Many of these guys have been in a serious relationship for a long period of time. If any of you Dominicans are Latin on this live, or if any of you uh, either Latinas or Latin, Latinos, comment and let me know if I'm right or fucking wrong from my experience, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know if, hey, bro, yeah, you do kind of got a point. <laughs> You know, um, but from my experience and understanding what's going on, man, you know, um, uh, yeah, you, you will get fucked up. And this is why she loves you so much. She trusts you so much. She's devoted to you. Let's have pasta for dinner again today. See, pasta? <laughs> do, do, do you want pasta? Do gusta? Do gusta? Do gusta? Degusta? Sí. Pasta, okay, no problem. Look, you are in charge of my nutrition. You are in charge of comida. Tu, jefe. Tu entiende? Si, en casino. Tu, jefe. Tu, si, señor. Tu entiende? No pre yo, okay? Okay. Okay? Mira. Coño. Coñazo. Money, mama, Mira, mama Toto. Mama Toto? Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> what that mean, mama Toto? <laughs> yo no te estaba preguntando. Yo te estaba avisando. Okay. Está bien. No problem. All right, so, but yeah, so this is why she loves you so much. And when you got a, now the Dominican woman, when you do find a good one and the unicorns, it's going to take every bit of force on earth to tear her away from you. She's not going to leave you. She's going to stick it out with you. I done seen times, man, where the Dominican woman would be like, you fucking with that bitch? You rather have that bitch before you have me? And the guy might be like, Look, this is just too much. I'm gone. No, 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 no. You're not going nowhere. 
I'm you. I am your owner. You keep talking to that bitch, no problem. It's gonna be hell in this house every day because I'm not going nowhere. So you need to figure this shit out. I don't see. Yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, through Nino's, well, Mm -hmm. you want the telephone on. See, me look and say, see, see, and do like this. Me, me, no, it's stupid, though. Me see, like, no mas. This time, <laughs> net breaks. Anyway, my bad, guys. Had to, had to let the things out. But anyway, um, uh, little, little gang, little, little gang, gang walk past, you know what I'm saying? Eyeballing me, holding this goddamn these phones up. I let them know, like, yeah, yeah, it's here, yeah, see, see. One, one naughty head at me, naughty back at him, like, see, see, we, it's here. Goddamn, you know. But anyway, um, but yeah, guys, yeah, so, yeah, one thing about the unicorns are very, it's, it's very hard to get rid of them. they going to love you. You cheat. You got to deal with the stab wound, but they still gonna lay that hill for you, you know. So it's a different. It's like this hill, and I, I'm not saying all of them gonna stab me. They're gonna be crazy, man, you know. So just hide, butcher knives and fingernail files, clippers and forks and shit, and sharp objects like screwdrivers and shit. Hide all that shit. You might be kind of high, but but you know, you know, and they ain't gonna never just go off no assumptions, you know. For the stab, do some violent shit. On assumptions, they just gonna talk their shit. But if they got facts, like you literally doing this, then just be honest. This is what it is. Other than that, it's just the high strong. In the midst of all of it, you can just, in the midst of all of it, if you can just convince her, calm down, speak some Spanish, and get through to her. Um, and, and, and just let them know you love her, let them know you care, let them know that nothing else matters to you, you fucked up, but look, you just let them know that shit, she'll calm down. You know what I'm saying? That's all she just want to know is that you just going to be there. You're not going nowhere, you know. It has nothing to do with your money, your visa, none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just she loves you like she loves her fellow Dominican man. She just want to make sure that you there, because it's one thing that you're fucking with the main girl, fucking with cheating on her. But that's another thing that you cheating if it leave. That's just can't take her heart like that, you know. That's why my unicorns. I'm gonna stick with them and be alright. You know what I mean? I can't just do them like I can't just do them dirty. You know, they they, they look out for me and make sure I'm good around right here. I don't have nothing to worry about, man. With money, without money, I ain't got nothing to worry about. Forever family, forever a home. Who is right here? So where we at? What's your unicorn age range? Right now, my unicorn age range is 20 to 26. 20 to 26. I don't think I have a 30 year old, anybody over. Oh! Well, I just got a new. Yes, I do. 26. My new recruit, she ain't all the way in yet, but she's on her way there. She's 33. No children. Um, um, she should be on home to America soon. Very intelligent, educated. And she was offered a visa from America. She one of them Dominicans that they just led into the country. She on point. But uh, yeah, but she's 33. So I can, but she ain't all the way in. She ain't part of the six. The six, that's mine. Uh, from 20 to 26. 20 to 26. I'll double check. But uh, but I will date 18 and up. Just to let you know, I will date 18 and up. I will not date 18 and up in America. In America, I would not date 18 and up. 18 year olds, 19 year old, 20 years old in America, it, they just for the smashing and passing. I would not date them and just be like, 
uno date type shit, you know, like, no. Uh, I wouldn't have them as my girls, no. But here, um, unless she's a unicorn in America, but that's still, like, even the unicorns in America, the mind frame ain't mature. We baby our kids too much, you know, so we baby, and then once they become adults, once we become adults in America, we still fucking babies, goddamn. So, um, compare it to what I see here, because once they're 18 here, 19 years old here, they, they're they knowledgeable and cultural enough and spiritual, spiritually inclined enough to run a whole family and an organization and a business. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very intelligent and spiritually strong. So, uh, but yeah, it's like from 20 to, um, 20 to, um, 26. Checking on you from Stockton, California. Clarence Huggins, what's happening, bro? It's been a minute since I've seen you. Henry Bowling, hola, 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 hola to you, man. Are there, uh, Mills Unicorn? Yes. And when we go to, um, when we go to, um, La Romana, Actually, the place I'll be staying at is with a MIF. And she is fucking gorgeous. And she's a unicorn. She's about 30. I think she's older than me. She's like 38 or something, 39 or something like that. Gorgeous, man. It's beautiful. Uh, 24 and up for me, says Chill Town Majors. That's right, man, 24 and up. Hey, man, they roll with that, brother. Hey, we all like what we like, shit. Um, but yeah, that's just what it is, man. Uh, 24 and up, that's good, man. That's a good, that's a good number to start at because the reason why 24 and up is good out here because once they hit that up, like you say 24 and up. Once they hit that up, the Dominican men don't want them no more, so you ain't got to worry about that in that area. Once they hit like 27, 28, 29, 30, especially in the 30s, Dominican men, like, they just basically ran through. They like, they don't want them. Because technically that's pretty much what it is. They pretty much ran through by that time. Because, um, uh, except for if she's just a devoted ass unicorn, because you know, unicorns at times they still need dick too, you know. So, uh, the way they eat here is what uh, makes them horny. And, like, even since I've been being, I ain't gonna lie, man, I've been like super, I've been hard like all the time, like, like I've been taking Viagra or some shit, like, hard, it's just hard for no fucking read, like, I'm 16 again. Because of the avocado, the natural fruits and foods and all the organic stuff, it just, it's very vital to to the body. So it's, 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 it's I can sense the response. My energy is up, so, um, you know, um, you know, I feel stronger, you know. Uh, but, but uh, you gotta understand that uh, by the time the women reach a certain age here in the Dominican Republic, living on the island, you know, they, you know, you gotta understand, they start early here. You know, they start early as fuck. And they start early at a young age with older guys. So then as they grow and grow and grow and get to 30 years old, you gotta imagine like, damn, man, it's, you know, most men don't want them no more. Unless he just, uh, uh, and not, he's not a valuable man, and he's just like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take you, you know. There's some beautiful-ass older women here that's beautiful and single, you know, and they're just going to be single, you know, beautiful, beautiful older women. But, you know, in our country, America, you know, a lot of guys... <clears throat> The women shame us so so much for their younger women. I ain't say illegal women. I say younger women. Um, that we just do we 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 do what they want us to do. <laughs> we date how our women want us to date. You know, we 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 think like how they think. You know, instead of doing what the fuck we want to do. But in America, also, I can say that 
the women are extremely immature, even the 30-year-olds. I'd rather have an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old here in the Dominican Republic over a 35-year-old in America because she's more mature than a 35-year-old in America. Way more mature than a 35-year-old in America. Extremely more mature. Know how to handle her jealousy better. Know how to handle her anger better. Know how to... She just... When it comes to a relationship, when dating a certain man, I would rather have, you know. Now, I would rather have a 35-year-old when it comes to maturity in America than a 19-year-old. But when it just comes to overall fertility and just starting fresh, I would have a 19-year-old in America than one, than a 35-year-old in America because I can do that, you know. Women from all ages like me, so a lot of guys, women don't like like that, you know, so. Um, I get hit on by 21-year-olds and 22-year-olds. I get hit on these 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds. I get hit on by these women, you know, so. Um, uh, even here in this country, you know, and then that's just the going age. You're in your 30s, if you're in your 30s, and you're coming to the Dominican Republic, the the age that you're gonna see respond to you better are the early 20 women. You know, are the early 20 women, because that's around about the age frame that they, that's the age they, that's how they do. The, 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 the late 20s and the mid 40s, late 20s and mid 40s are the dating, you know, in the Latin world, not just the Dominican Republic. So then the girls who are in their 30s, they go to the 50-year-olds and shit. You know, you'll see them with, you'll see them with old, older brothers. You'll see the girls that's in their 30s with men that's 50 years old, you see what I'm saying? Like even my unicorn, my, one of my unicorns, the one y'all just seen on camera here, her mothers and family, the men are older, older, older. One of the uh, one of the um, aunties, one of the aunties, her husband just died of what well, back in July of old age, you know. So it's just how it is. So it's just how it is, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to see to see a thirty-year-old man. With a 30 year old woman here, that means they was together forever since fucking high school. <laughs> or he just, and even if he is one of them guys to just undervalue, he's still gonna go down some, like 25. It's gonna be um, a 35 undervalued man with a 30 year old woman here in the Dominican Republic. And that's just what I see. He just, he just. He just He's just trying to get in somewhere where he fit in at, you know. His luck ain't that good. But out here, but out here, you know, it's, it's, just, it, it's just, it's just the way it is out here. L say, yo, I respect what you're doing, geez. Hey man, no problem, man. Just trying to make it happen out here, man. Just trying to, trying to create something for us to all be able to stand on. Trying to make something for all this to stand on, man. Okay, Smiley, Smiley. Good brother. Good brother, I got you. You moving around, not just standing on on the strip. Yeah, I can't just stay on the strip, brother. You know, I been went fucking crazy. I, I, that, that shit, I was losing my fucking mind. Like, yo, man, what the fuck? Every day I see the same fucking hoes, mangoes, doing the same shit. It's good to fellowship with a lot of you brothers now. I do miss that now. I miss the brothers, the different brothers that come in. I get to shake hands and, and kick it with. I like that, but but when it came to uh, the same old places, the same old, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't built for that. I'm not built for that right now. I, I want to show y'all some more. Nice unicorn. 
hair all the way down her back, past her ass. I'm seeing the real DR. I'm telling her something now. Yeah, I'm seeing the real DR. I'm seeing the real DR, and I'm <clears throat> and I'm always out and about seeing the real DR. So that's what I was saying earlier to the brothers is that I'm doing a unicorn giveaway. So I'm actually picking the real fucking unicorn, the real women of the DR, and presenting them to you. You know, so your leg work, the hard work part is over. So tomorrow at ten we will be live, or eleven o'clock we will be live. Just gotta get up early enough to get me a little shade, man, because I want to make sure I'm looking. Nice, you know. And also, guys, I want to start catering to the women a little more too. So I want to get more women followers, cause women gonna women, 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 women definitely support, you know. So I want to support the women as well, man. You know, I want to start doing things for the women. I might start, uh, I might start doing holding bachata classes and to where I learn a routine with a girl. You know, just make it more romantic on the channel. I might start doing some mushy shit like. Uh, send somebody flowers or something, you know, and just grab a girl by her hand somewhere in the middle of the street to start dancing with her, wooing and kissing on, you know, just make it more, uh, make it more like planning a romantic date with King Lucky, you know what I'm saying, where I just go pick a girl up and take her out somewhere and just show the you know, just make it more, more romantic because I want to get more women on, man, you know what I mean, more women on the channel. Cause uh, and we still gonna keep it gutter now. Don't get it twisted. We gonna keep it gutter. But the thing about it is that uh, my mind just just broad, man. It's just I'm out here. I'm out here enjoying the Latin culture, man. I'm out here. I'm I'm dancing. I'm uh, merengue. I'm learning salsa. I got the bachata I'm down pat. Now I'm just learning some couple of my own little American way of doing it. My own little American way of doing it. I'm just putting my own little style together. Uh, also, um, I'm just um, I'm just trying to put everything down the way I need to put it down. You understand what I'm saying? Oh shit, my legs hurt from working out. Let me see if I can sneak some Coca Cola. Hold on. So yeah, I want to make it a little more. Oh well, no, no, I can't sneak no Coca Cola. She's standing right there. God damn. I tried to go sneak some Coca Cola right quick. Like, see what I'm saying? I gotta act like a goddamn kid again. Sneak and get some Coca-Cola and figure it everybody sleep. But anyway, yeah, man, so I want to make it a little more more catchy for women. I want to get, because now that I notice that Dominican women are watching my channel. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning Spanish, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning Spanish. I just had a little chit-chat in Spanish not so long ago. Um, so, um, so yeah, we, I might just start um, holding Spanish classes and English classes. I got somebody asking me to teach them English. They're gonna teach me Spanish. But I'm learning every day though, you know. Uh, my, my Spanish vocabulary has increased since the last time we chat. And it's increasing every day. Um, and just all about um, repetitiveness, you know, just repeating repetitions, just repeating the, uh, just repeating different words and phrases, you know. Yes, I see uh, Venezuelans. Um, um, I see them. Uh, there, uh, especially in Santo Domingo, Santo Domingo and Sosua, you're going to see Venezuelans. You know, um, I have my fair share of fun with these Venezuelans. And I actually did a video, uh, Venezuelan versus Dominicans, you know. You know, it's, it's, it's the difference of that, you know. But, uh, but yeah, now that I have Dominicans watching my videos, I'm my, like, Dominican girls, you know, a lot of them, I want to start impressing them a little bit. I want to start giving them a reason to want to look at the channel. So, and I know out here, um, I know, um, I know out here in the uh, Latin culture, the big on romance, you know. And a lot of times, most of the women be missing out on romance, you know. I think I went and, I think I was getting in the car the other day, um, here in Santo Domingo, and um, you know, I do like a little certain shit when I'm with my unicorn. I might walk past a group of girls with her. Instead of keeping my mouth closed, I might say, hey, y'all, excuse me, you know, baritone English. 
And they might be like, what the fuck? All this, and it might be a crowd full of mangoes. And they all look at the unicorn like, oh, we can take him from her. That's how, they, that's how the mangoes be thinking. We can get him from her. You know, we paid for this ass and shit. We know black men like ass. So they all kind of migrate. Man, I had got a fucking somebody called me on Instagram and it just froze my whole shit. I ended the call, but anyway, it had dropped my goddamn views down. Motherfucker said, "Fuck it, they got off." But that's good. Though. That's what's up. But anyway, um, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, um, went to my Venezuelans or something. But anyway, uh, oh, to my impression the, the, the Dominican girls. Yeah, because, uh, um, yeah, I just want to do that. I want to spice it up a little bit. Oh, that's why I was walking out to the parking lot. And um, so the girls kind of walked outside in the parking lot to see what was going on. So uh, me knowing that they was watching, you know, I had my girl in my arm walking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, uh, we got to the driver door first. And the driver's side, though. That's the only way you can unlock the door unless you press the button, but I stuck the key in. I stuck the key in, so my girl walked around to the passenger side. So uh, after I unlock the door, I go around and open her door, like in America, you know, being a gentleman. So I open her. So I, I go in the door, I go to her door, and open her door, and she's sliding into the car. And so I didn't look at the girls at all. I didn't look at the man who ain't do none of that shit. But I knew the unicorn was looking at the fucking mango. So I get in the car, she say, do you see how all those girls just watching like they, they you know? So my point of saying that is say like, that is unknown here, the open car doors and shit like that, you know? Um, another thing also, I asked, we was riding, and I saw a guy what that I thought was a white guy walking across the street. And I said, gringo, gringo. So my girl looked at that man and said, well, that's not a, um, that's not a gringo. He's Dominicano. I said, well, damn, how you know he's Dominicano? He looked just like gringo. Then she was like, I no say, I mean, I don't know. I said, but he is Dominicano, right? She said, yeah, he's Dominicano. I said, okay. So what about me? If you saw me in the streets, you would think I'm Dominicano? She said, she said, yeah, actually I would until you talk. She said, when you talk, that's when you, you don't think you're Dominican no more. She said, also your tattoos. She said, Dominicans have a lot of tattoos, but not just covered up like yours. Or you just covered up, and you'll rarely see I said, what about how I dress or something? She said, not really, but sometimes, yes, because like the shades, maybe. It's a little more designer than theirs. Like, it's just a little more sportier. Like, the clothes might be a little more sportier a little bit. And it might give away telltale signs they give away. And that day I had on shorts. You know, um, I didn't have my socks tucked in my, you know, the footy socks. I had on socks that go up a little bit, but I had to smash down. You know, just scrunch it down a little bit. Not pulled up like, like a clown, but kind of scrunched down. And she was like, and Dominican men don't wear their socks like that. So when we see stuff like that, we know you're a foreigner. So I'm like, oh, okay, 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 what's up? But she was like, um, my skin color is what make me exotic here. She said, uh, because the Dominicans look at me for a long time. You too, you, I'm just using me. I'm speaking on behalf of us, okay? They would look at us a long time, like just watch us, because they see this color, and then we're American. They don't think, most of them, especially ones with no education, they don't think Americans are this color. They think it's just all white. That's crazy, ain't it? So when they see an American man here in unknown areas like Campos and fields and crazy places like that where he barely gets tourism, when you talk, they be like, oh shit, it's like they're running the house, they be scared sometimes, you know, because it's like, whoa, now they expect a white man, like a white man, oh, okay, okay, we know you're gringo, you know. But a lot of people, a lot of Dominicans don't think gringos are people of all color, you know what I mean? So, uh, so I just learned that the other day, you know, she really broke that down to me. And she broke it down, she's very educated. She uh, 
college and all this stuff. So she studied history. She studied the slave trade. She 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 loved Africa. She's in love with the Haitians. She like Haitians. She said uh, she don't have this because she understands everything, you know. And that took me. She said, "Hey, all of my friends that's educated, we all on the same thing. We do our research. We know what's going on. We know that." So I asked her, cause you know she's lighter. That's the one you just seen the camera. She's the mulatto, uh, mulatto. Um, Mitts looking. So I asked her, I said, what about you? Is your color normal here in the Dominican Republic? She said, no, my color ain't normal. I got some Spain mixed in me, some Spaniards mixed in me. That's why my color like this. She said, because they came and mixed in with us when they got here. So I said, when you say us when they got here, what you mean? She said, well, the original people, I am part of the original people. See? See, I am a part of the original people, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> and, and the Spaniards came and did their thing. So I said, oh, okay, she said, then the other half, you know, come from Africa. I said, oh, okay, so she broke all that down. So I said, I'm very, 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 very surprised, she said. And she broke it down in Spanish, so I was listening to her. So I'm able to understand Spanish better. I understand Spanish better than I speak Spanish. Like, you hear people speaking Spanish to me, I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, now I say some stuff back, let them know, like, I know what you're saying. But, Trying to get this tone to flow with the words sometimes, kind of jamming me up a little bit. Like I say, I don't even speak proper English. You know. But um, they can't just talk around me without me picking up some words and know what's going on. How you staying safe, bro? Uh, LS. Um. You talking to an ex con, goddamn ex prisoner? Shit, if I made it out of that motherfucker for a decade, I make it anyway. But let me come to earth a little bit. Um, I got my eyes open. I know right from wrong. I treat people how I want to be treated. I understand the culture, so I know what to do, what not to do. Like I know where to look and not to look, when to look. I know when to speak and when not to speak. Um, I mind my fucking business. Uh, I don't talk to every fucking girl. You know, you might be talking to somebody's wife and he come out there, come outside with that fucking machete. You know. Um, I keep myself surrounded by good people, positive people, uh, good energy. Uh, even if I'm by myself, you know. Uh, I have established a lot of friendly zones, meaning people I can call, people I can call on in times of need that are Dominicans. Like I will call some Dominicans if I need something. Um, I don't give a fuck if I need to lay on the couch anyway. I call some Dominicans. Um, I don't really need something to eat. Whatever's going on, I'm gonna call some Dominicans. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the same thing that you, you, how you stay safe in America. You, know? uh, you go to one city to another city, you know, you just know to stick to your shit, you know. Just mind your business and kind of like do right by people because these people here ain't out to just get you, you know. You know that they go in the fucking slums with your phone out and diamonds on your ear and shit, you get robbed, you know. Uh, but, but other than that, man, you out. Um, do you get tired of hearing Spanish all day? Ask me to God say, or hearing the music? No, absolutely not. Uh, actually, Spanish is the love language. I like that shit, man, because I'm in, I'm in the learning phase. So as much as I hear it, I can, you know, once I start speaking fluent, then I might say I'm tired of hearing this shit. But, you know, when you trying to learn something, you, you like it all of a sudden, you know. So I'm learning bachata. So every time bachata come on, I'm like, I'm glued to it, you know. I'm, you know, it's just something about bachata that I like. I think it sets, I think it sets as fuck. So I'm always listening to the tone, some music, trying to get more into feeling the music. So bachata is what you hear a lot because bachata originated here in the Dominican Republic. The bachata is a Dominican originated dance. Merengue is a Dominican originated dance. It originated in salsa, Cuba, and Colombia. Or Cuba or Colombia. They fighting over who created it first. But 
But uh, bachata is a Dominican, so I'm in the home of bachata, so and merengue. So those are two, especially bachata. Like me and her, starting tomorrow, we're doing an hour a day of bachata practice because an hour of bachata practice with them because in my unicorns to be so great at bachata that we can just dance in the middle of the fucking street of a busy intersection. And while motherfuckers are blowing their horn, they'll just stop and just watch, like, oh, yeah, they're getting down, goddamn. You know what I mean? So, um, and if I do get married I, and I have all my sits of my wives at the altar, at the reception, we, I mean, we're going to dance, the first dance, and I'm going to take turns dancing with all my goddamn unicorns. Uh, and I just want us to be on point, you know? Yeah, so, um, but no, I don't get tired of hearing Spanish because I'm learning it. I'm learning it. So, and the music I'm learning, so <clears throat> everything is all good. Yep. Living the bachelor life, it's on point. So, yeah, guys, make sure y'all decide on whether it's in La Romana or Bani is the next trip. Which one should I go to first? I'm going to both, but which one should I go to first? Bani or La Romana? Let's, La Romana, let's figure it out. Let's get it together. Let's do it. And guys, and don't be afraid to donate to the channel. Cash app, K I N, cash app, dollar sign, K I N G, seven four fourteen, dollar sign, K I N G, seven four fourteen. Do not be afraid to donate because I need your donations. All right. So what we got? Uh, what you doing for Super Bowl? Super Bowl. What's that? Uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl is football. That yeah, football shit. Man. Man. Brother. And I love football. I mean, I got the Falcons tag right here. That's the Falcons, goddamn, you know. But. Super Bowl, man. Yeah, I don't even know who the fuck in Super Bowl. I don't know nothing, man. I don't. I'm so disconnected, man. And I'm disconnected for real, cause you know you got a lot of guys here who still connected with what's going on in America, man. They had to tell me the other day, don't you know? And I'm a Black Panther member. I am an active Black Panther member. But somebody has told, a civilian told me, said, uh, but don't you know it's, they fighting in your country about this presidential shit? Like, huh? Damn, for real? So I had to pull it up and say, oh shit, this shit real. Maybe I got to fly back. But now, known black folks ain't involved in that shit. We good. I ain't got to come back just yet. Now, we get involved and I got to come on my fucking Malcolm X shit. Goddamn. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, you know, yeah, Super Bowl, man, I, I guess I'll be, um, guess I'll be getting some massages and laid back kicking shit, man, uh, probably in one of these barrios or something, I don't fucking know. I know I'll probably, I'm not going to be watching the game, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not watching the game. I don't even know who in the Super Bowl. I don't know who in the Super Bowl, what team. I don't even know my team no more. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I, I just don't know, man. I ain't been keeping up with the NBA. I don't know shit about what LeBron got going on. I don't know nothing, man. The only thing I know is unicorns, mangoes, beaches, chapadoras, fucking good food, pollo, uh, hey, goddamn, uh, you know, and, and, and fucking YouTube. <laughs> Matter of fact, to be honest with you, I need some more shoes and fucking all that shit. So one of you guys traveling out here, man, I'm probably going to have to send y'all some goddamn. If, if I don't make it there before you make it here, I'm probably going to have to send y'all some goddamn money. Go pick some goddamn new J's up for me, goddamn, some other shit, goddamn. Because, boy, I'm so out the loop. But thanks for asking, though, man. Thank, thank, uh, thanks for fucking asking, man, uh.
about the Super Bowl. Well, we had uh, Mel Sassoua just checked in. He said, we need to go put $5 for the jackpot. And if y'all ain't checked Mel Sassoua jackpot out, man, y'all need to check out. Mel Sassoua, you live now with jackpot? Are you live now? Are you on live? What's going on? You live right now? Mary Sassoua, are you live right now? Shaded, shaded by Jay, jackpot for DR. Uh, shaded by Jay said jackpot for DR. Come put y'all five dollars in the jackpot for the DR. I don't know if you're asking a question, sweetheart, but I don't know if you actually uh, help promoting. Are uh, you making a statement? Uh, so I'm just going to say thank you for responding, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, Maris and Sewell, are you live right now? If you are live, let me know. If you're not live, let me know. All right. Where these fucking cats come from? But yeah, like I was just saying, guys, you know, uh, I'm so out of the loop, man. I, I definitely don't, uh, I definitely don't keep up with a lot of shit, especially that's going on outside of the DR. Uh, well, was, well, that's going on in the Matrix. Other than uh, anything got something to do with business and stuff like that, money and all that good shit. I'm, 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 I'm ears in. Now, I love football. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Do not. I like football. I grew up playing football. Um, I grew up playing football. Uh, hey, look at this shit. I'm going to show you this for y'all. Look at this. See, these cats in the DR are so fucking disrespectful. You see how they just came and just laid around this motherfucker? And that's how it is at my crib in Sassoua. They come take over the pool area. I think on Instagram and Facebook, I did a whole little fucking video on them just coming, just taking over the swimming pool. I'm like, yo, like, look at this guy. That's crazy. They just come, they just come take over, man. Uh, Shaded by Jay said, yeah, I don't do cats either. Shaded by Jay, listen, I was just talking about my female subscribers, my female, um, um, hey, I ain't tripping. <laughs> she said, let the cats live a good life. Hey, everybody out here chilling. Hey, I ain't tripping. I ain't got to worry about the police killing me, so they ain't got to worry about me chasing them. So, hey, we good. It's an even swindler. Even swap, no swindler. So Shaded by Jade, I was just talking to my female subscriber. Shaded by Jade, hold on for a minute. Are you sus subscribe right now, Shaded by Great Jade? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you ain't already subscribed, Shaded by Jade, hit the subscription button. Go on and subscribe, it ain't gonna hurt you. And then tell some of your friends that you see a nice brother that's abroad Tell them to subscribe also, okay? And I'm going to start catering to the woman audience as well. So I'm going to start meeting nice-looking men that you girls probably like. Have them to sit down and interview and decent men because I still know how to pick the unicorn of men too. Don't get it twisted. I, I know the difference. I know the difference. All this shit out here. I done figured it out. <clears throat> so... You sisters, man, show love, man. I got y'all too, man. I'm going to start catering to the females a little more also. Once I start seeing y'all in the chat more and I start seeing female subscribers, then I know y'all. I know y'all there. Y'all just don't say nothing. Y'all just waiting on me to really probably, you know, do some do something for you, you know. So uh, I'm definitely going to do something for you for all the ladies as well, you know. Oh, no, I'm cool on man. I'm still trying to work things out with the one man. I had in my life for 25 years to win. Okay, great. But still, for my female followers, I'm going to do things because it's still entertainment. So you you may not need a man. 
great. Or you may have a man that's perfect, but it's still entertainment. You may have, you might, it's like watching TV and shit. It's like watching fucking a reality show. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is the closest thing to a reality show. You feel me? So you might have some homegirls or whatever. Tell them all to subscribe, man. But I do want to start catering to the to the lady audience. Unless you're one of them ladies that like to see what the men got going on, you know. So that's okay too, though, you know. Uh, we got you on that too. But subscribe. You still ain't subscribed yet. Subscribe. All right. But uh, but I'm glad to have you here, sweetheart. Thank you so much for responding. Thank you so much for you know, uh, you know, uh, um, hanging in there with your dude too. That's real good. I I appreciate that on behalf of black men, you know. Um, Still okay. Yeah, so that's pretty good and cool, man. Right here on live, man. You too. Yeah, come get you some of this shit, boy. Yeah. You. What did it say? Uh, you, uh... Hey, I don't know, um... I think, yeah, yeah, I about to say, I think you mistyped something. But yeah, man, so yeah. So the weather out here is pretty good. It is kind of cooler than normal. But it's still hot. I still got on the tank top and shit, you know, so. But it's not like how summertime. It's different seasons here. It's not like summertime here. I subscribe. We're not together. I choose to, I subscribe. We're not together. I choose to focus, but I'm still young. I'm just trying to live my life. That if I lie, we will get back together one day. We got to focus. Mm. That's you're right. You know, um, and that's part of the reason I'm single. And that's part of the reason a lot of these men on here are single, because we're trying to focus. You know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have girls, don't get it twisted. But um, uh, I'm grown, I got knees and shit. You know, I need somebody to rub my back. I need somebody to rub my feet. You know, I need somebody to cook my food, you know. I need somebody to tell me I'm drinking too much Coca-Cola, goddammit. I need to stop drinking Coca-Cola, you know. I need somebody to curse my ass out when they see me looking at prostitutes. I'm like, damn, she fine. <laughs> oh shit, girl, what's wrong with you? Cool, okay. But, uh, but yeah, I'm still single so i get it you know you want to focus on you but that's beautiful when you have enough love and respect for someone and um and and it's mutual it's beautiful when it's mutual and y'all can kind of like uh meet back up and, and, and you know meet back up in life like well baby i've completed the task i've done everything i needed to do i've got all of the things off my checklist that i needed to do things to do list now i'm ready to settle down and I'm ready to just be with you and that person says the same thing I think that is beautiful whoa damn it's a crazy debate it's a crazy debate going on my Instagram page right now but it's going in goddamn but anyway but yeah that's just I, I definitely get it sister I'm glad to see that y'all hanging in there man goddamn SV the God what do you, you What's going on with you? It's like you're saying something, but you're not saying something. I don't know if you typo. Hold on. Matter of fact, whoa. Hold the fuck up. Oh. Woo. Boy, I thought the unicorn took my phone. Oh. You see how quick I jumped up? Oh. Let me, oh, let me sit my head. I'm sore as hell from doing my squats, but you see how quick I jumped up looking for this phone, boy? When it's more than one unicorn, but they be goddamn scheming. Woo, what I mean by take a phone, I don't mean by steal the phone, if you know what I mean. I don't mean by take the phone, she gonna steal it. I'm talking about they gets in this motherfucker. They start reading shit, and if anything, they already be looking at it like, okay. You have everything you need here in the Dominican Republic. It's nothing you need here when it comes to anything. Girls, looker, place, crib. I need a car. I ain't gonna lie, I do need a car. But uh, when it comes to like just 
being comfortable and relaxed and ain't got to worry about nothing, I'm good. But if you got to mess with another woman, goddamn, you, you, if you need more girls, just get more good girls. We feel better that way. Just get good girls. Don't get, but see, I got a lot of stuff going on with the OnlyFans. I'm trying to cook up and all that right there. And uh, I just don't be wanting, they, they'll be mad if they look at my phone, goddamn. Yeah, let me make sure everything good. Okay, yeah, everything good. But yeah, you see how quick I jumped up? Like, whoa, what the fuck am I calling that? I ain't slipping like that. Where we at? SV the God say, I think everyone's single because people want the entertainment versus the responsibility. I don't know. Everyone is single because we're in what you call the hookup culture. Everything is about hooking up. Nowadays, you have, you got to accept the fact that your significant other may be talking to somebody else. Probably talking to somebody else. Is talking to somebody else. Or some people. Because you have social media, you got inboxes, DMs, hidden apps, dating sites, lock codes, hit to even hide shit but it won't even show on your phone. You know, so that's why I say, no, you can't never trust nobody 100%, bro. just don't do it, you know. Sometimes it's better just to be single. I mean, especially for men, you know. Men, I say this for men, because the ratio of women on this planet, 30 to one, it's way more women on this planet than men. You know, like, they said the least likely person to be married on this planet is the, is the black America and the Chinese man. Chinese man and black America. So I'm thinking maybe black America need to marry Chinese man. You know, I don't know if they equal out a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Um, Nova's uh, sincere. Says, uh, yo, what it do, King? How many unicorns now you have in your collection? I remember when I come back there, you got to get me one. I get you one before you come back. So you can go on and start building with them. But I have, um, I have six in my collection, man, right now. And they all know each other. They all can't hang around each other, but they all know each other. Uh, but yeah. Shaded by Jay says, so how do you split your time? Because I don't even have enough time for one person. I can't imagine more than one. Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. Um, jaded by, uh, Shaded by Jay. It's a really good question. Um, well, three of them, I kind of put around each other. So they kind of work together at helping me out. You know, keeping me good, you know, take turns cooking, you know, they all cook together. Um, I, I mean, I don't do a lot of fucking. Some of y'all might think I do, but I really preserve myself, and that's what makes them respect me more, you know. And that's what makes them trust me. Like, I give them dick when I want to give them dick, and and whichever one I decide to give dick to, that's who she knows who she is for the day, for the night. Um, and that's out of the three that's here. The other three, are, um, two of them be together sometimes, but one of them don't really be around. Cause she just too jealous. But um, but there's in other areas like Puerto Plata. I got the nurse out there in Puerto Plata. Um, I still got my uh, my virgin, you know. So I'm definitely not fucking her yet, you know. Uh, and, you know. I, and I have my, uh, you know, I have my ways of making my time for everybody. Uh, but you know, it, it, I don't want to do the gender roles thing right now, but I think it's kind of more difficult for a woman to. think to kind of like spread make time so much like that, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's, it may be easy. I mean, you are single, so I mean. And you know, I'm single too. And I think I'm trying to add like maybe two more. 
I'm trying to add like maybe two or three more to my stable, and then I'll probably call it quits. I'll probably say, all right, that's it, no more. I don't even want to see another female, you know. So, and, and it kind of keep you grounded, whether you know it or not. It keeps me grounded that I have. And when I always had one girl and one girl, I was always in trouble. I was always goddamn. I think I was a little jealous. I used to be acting jealous, like who calling you type shit. You know what I mean? But now that I have a collection and they know about each other, and that's no room for me to get jealous. Or ask who calling who, because they all on each other ass. Goddamn. You feel what I'm saying? They on each other ass, you know. So, um, and I'm honest, like yo, I'm honest as fuck. And I realized this way of life to me is like it's better for me, you know, the type of man I am. I've been on one girl. I've been on got in trouble, man. I mean, like, for real, it'll be some trouble. I be, I, I stay in trouble. I, we've been on broke up and everything, man. Like uh. I don't think these girls ever going in the world unless I just unless I just find one girl on this planet, which I doubt it'll happen. I really doubt. I like 100% doubt this will happen. If I find one special girl on this planet that maybe want to just leave everything alone, just be with her and marry her and just be with her, that's the only way I my girls will leave. I have to literally push them out of my life, like. Tie them up to a tree and run some goddamn well. You understand what I'm saying? No, I just got cash up, bro. Uh, I mean, I got, right now I'm just using cash up. <clears throat> so that's just what's going on right now in the cash up. So uh, don't worry about it. It's the thought that count. Don't worry about it. You thought about it. You know, you wanted to do it. Hey, man. Hey, that's the thought that count, man. You know, that's all that matters, man. And so your donation is received. It's like you just donated. You tried. That's better than nothing at all, my guy. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate um, uh, money, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, brother. Well, we had not shaded by Jay. Say, uh, um, you have not found the right one yet because if you did, you wouldn't need so many. Just one right now. <laughs> you know what I think? Mama and sisters and shit. Well, you know, um, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to become combative with you. I'm just going to say, you you might be right. Maybe I ain't found the right one. I don't think I'm going to find the right one, God damn it. You know, the right one need to take her time then, because right now, God damn, you know, the right one need to hold up, God Don't come now then, God damn, because this right here is just too much like right, God damn. I don't need the right one coming in unless she, I mean, she, I mean, she can hold out six women, but she can out, she can, especially my three, she can outdo the three, goddamn, but she, yeah, yeah, she got it, I, she can take the crown, goddamn, you know what I mean, you know, um, yeah, so yeah, that's what's up, and I don't do no, I haven't had no threesomes and all that, I know you guys thinking like that, you got these, I haven't, I never had a threesome in my life. Never had a threesome. Not saying I don't want one, I just never had one. Uh, so I don't have the girls doing all kind of, I don't, none of the girls I'm with are bisexual. That I know of, you know, and, I, you know, and I'm pretty smart, goddamn. You know, but none of them are bisexual. <clears throat> now, if I had three girls like this and six in America, then I'd have to be like, Y'all sure y'all ain't? Cause y'all kind of like y'all cooking together and shit, cleaning. Y'all you know, y'all sure y'all ain't? You know what I mean? So, but here it's kind of like you kind of know. For sure, bro. Uh, I think I'm gonna have going ahead and get cash up. Anyway, everybody seems to have that now. Yeah, everybody got cash up over everything. I mean, I got a PayPal, but <clears throat> I just ain't. It, I, I'm just. It's just not. Uh, I just don't have it uploaded and shit right now. And I have to send all the credentials to me. email. I just, I, I'll do it another day. Well, what's the difference in the unicorns than if they're unicorns? The brother must be driving in Texas. He said, well, what's the difference in the unicorn than if they're Unicorns. 
What's the difference between the unicorn there? Oh, are you asking me? What's the difference between the unicorns here? Like, what's the difference between them individually? <clears throat> yes or no? I'm trying to help you out. I think you're driving. I think you sleep. Or you get some fire ass hair from a beautiful ass female that you've been testing. You've been deep uh, under the influence testing the whole damn time, man. But at least for the last hour, goddamn. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. so let me help you out a little bit, man. Just yes or no, goddamn. You know. God damn, bro. And bro, I've been texting goddamn under the influence for about an hour now, man. So I'm just gonna try to help him out a little bit, man. God damn. Shit. Man, I'm excited about this interview tomorrow with this girl that I'm passing out to one of you guys. Bro said it's Friday. It is Friday. Damn, it is Friday. My ass is right. Let me rephrase that. My ass sitting right here, saving money, beautiful girls, food being cooked. I'm drinking them, eating them on live kicking shit. What is it, James Jose hey King? What it do? Have a nice evening here. And here we are expecting our snowstorm tonight. My brother. I'm going to make sure. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, um, USA Time. I will be with the unicorn, the beautiful girl, and I will be interviewing her. So get your questions together, guys. Whatever questions you want to ask, age, height, children, kids, job, school, credentials, whatever you want to ask, all your teeth in your mouth, because she will be choosing a man tomorrow. All right? She's a good girl. So while you got your snowstorm going on, man, you can um, you can always kick back and watch King Lockett show. And also, <clears throat> what you want to do also is share and let everybody know all your homeboys. Tell all your homeboys to get on the live. Even the ones that don't know about the channel, even the ones that don't know about what's going on in the DR, you just know they single and they might need a good girl. Just tell them to get on the live, man. They might be able to pull something. Cause I'm doing it for free this time. Soon I'ma start charging them to do this shit. Like whoever she chooses, it's gonna be like Tinder and fucking Latin Cupid and shit. Whoever she chooses, goddamn, it's gonna be a payment. Like yo, you gotta give me this to go down. And she, you know, she just have to choose somebody else, goddamn, you know. Um, or walk out of here with nothing, you know. I might have misspelled some words too. I was cooking wings, potato salad, yams, and cabbage. I don't even cook on Friday, but I'm starting to not like eating out. Damn, shaded by Jay. Where you at? You in America cooking like that? And, and hold on, from your profile, let me see. You, you actually look pretty as fuck. Unless that's one of your sisters or one of your homegirls or something. You actually look pretty. Most pretty girls got down these days don't know how to cook. You ain't got them throwing down like grandma throw down that motherfucker. You like, I'm from the projects for real. Like, from the projects. And grandma used to throw down in the projects. And you cooking goddamn wings, potato salad, yams, cabbage t on a Friday night. You ain't out there trying to shake your ass somewhere and Club compound or some shit in Atlanta. Okay, that what's up, man. Uh, cool beans, man. Yeah, you know. No, it's me. No, it's me at Shade Blade. Uh, okay, Shade by Jay. Yeah, on IG. Okay. Man, you don't do that. IG, that's confidence. Okay, goddamn. That's, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, okay, you doing your thing, man. That's what's up, man. Shade by Jay in the shot town, man. You know, in the shot town. Yeah, Shade by Jay, it's the truth. You're right, bro. I had to salute that. That's what I'm saying. I want to see more sisters like that on here, man. I want to see more sisters on here, man, because we can't just let the Dominican girl just take y'all out of the game like that now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they taking y'all out, man. So 
I like to see this right here now. I like to see Shaded by Jay on here and, and tell your friends to subscribe too because let me tell you something, Shaded by Jay. I'm not just doing it for views and shit. I'm actually being real with you. It's a lot of good fucking men on my channel. I got groups and everything. I got a group and everything. Good man. And you see what I'm doing? I'm bringing Dominican girls to him. Like, yo, me, her. You know? Because girls like you, Shaded by Jade, are just so far fetched and so hard to find. And I don't know, Shaded by Shaded by Jade. You might got to come on one day and we do an interview together live. You know, I might pull you up and we can just talk, we can just talk shit sometime, man, just to show. Because I, I want I want my sisters to win, goddamn. Maybe you, you can show like, well, look, bro, we still here. We can make it kind of controversial. We can make it like you getting on my ass. Like, look, you motherfucker. You know, it's, it's okay. You know, but we understand. We know what's going on. You know what I mean? But but uh, but I want I want sisters to stand up and say, look, some of us are still here. You know, we here, goddamn. We, we we may be working and trying to get stuff together, but we here. You know what I mean? And, and we like our men. We're not saying we don't need a man. We're just saying we on our grind. And then wrong with an independent woman that has her own shit, her land, her, her. I prefer women with their own shit, to be honest with you. Hell, I might need a ride, guy. Come pick me up, goddamn. You know, I, I don't give up. So I like women with their own shit. I'm not intimidated of that at all. Her own shit, her own bank account, her own. You can have, you can have three times more than me. I don't give a fuck. The problem I have is when you say, I don't need no man, and, and, and I ain't respecting you. Like, no, nah, we got a problem now, nah, because if you don't need me, and not saying that I want you to need me, because I just fuck you real good and just leave it at that. You know, and call me when you want me to come back and bat do Jody, goddamn, and, and I come lay down again, being Mary Jane style, goddamn, and we'll be going about my business, so you ain't got to need me. But at the same time, I'm not going to already respect. So I just like for sisters who actually knows the, the balance, how to equalize everything. She know how to get her money. She know how to stay on top of her shit. And she know how to respect her man. And she knows how to need her man. You see what I'm saying? She may not need him financially, but she needs to be touched, hugged, respected. She need see. Uh, a momento. Por favor. She needs to be respected. She needs to be hugged, kissed, and all that shit. She needs that masculine energy. Energy, you know. She needs the dick. She needs all that. So that, but she handled her business. She got her money. You know what I mean? She know she might not need him financially, but you know, you get it. I'm proud of the the men that go to the DR to save those good women. No competition when you know what kind of woman you are. I've seen how it is down there. It's hard down there financially, so I applaud it. Hey, that's that's real. Uh, the only fans, money, the only fans, the move though, about it's some girl in the U.S. making 20k a month, some even more. Yeah, I'm gonna do the only fans because the thing about it is these girls can be blessed out here to get up off the streets and then be a little more classier with their with, their, with what they got going on and don't have to be touched by so many men. Then they making so much fucking money, you know what I mean? Especially out here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, Guys, they calling me to come eat right now. The table is set for me to come eat. So let me go eat. I'm probably finna go live on Instagram when I'm through eating because I got one of the good brothers want to shoot a live on Instagram. We're going to split the screen and we're going to talk shit. As far as me being more privileged, being from America, I have those options to boss up. I just don't want no man kicking me out. I want to kick the man out if I have to. For my own money. Yeah. I Good job, baby. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. I feel you. I feel you. But look, man, thank you guys for watching. I'm about to go eat. This food is ready. I'm going to be live a minute on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's number one K-I-N-G underscore lock it. Number one K-I-G K-I-N-G underscore lock it. Subscribe. Uh, add me on Instagram. I'll go live when I'm through eating on Instagram. And I'm going to split the screen with uh, Life of CB. And we're going to talk shit for a minute. But right now, I got to go eat. The table is set. And I don't want to piss off my 
my, my, my family in here, you know, they got the food ready and all that. They call them my name. So uh, I got to go say the grace and pray for everybody being ahead of everything. You understand what I'm saying? So you guys stay tuned and show up tomorrow. Don't stand this girl up for this first date, okay? All right? So, uh, but yeah, um, y'all got to take it easy, man. Y'all can find Shaded by uh, Jade on her Instagram. She just put it in the uh, comments. So you guys go make sure you follow her, man. And check out her page, alright? So peace.